children nightmares If I'll teach them of the world Just hold my hand and smile As the road we made unfurls And I'll laugh as you burn in hell Are you a cannibal, a necrophile A little bit of both Box of lulies in your closet And your lamps are made of bones I'm watching through the window So you think you're safe at home Well I'll laugh as you burn in hell I'm your accomplice And your victim I'm your redemption And your salvation I'm your revival But not But not survival. And I laughed as you burn in hell. Okay, guys, since we already started, I figured we'd do a miniature intro. <laughs> yes, we're back. We're back. One of my managing mods, can you please set this to subscriber mode for me, please? But yeah, it was we we already we already started, so I had to figure a whole entire intro song was just too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> and little did I, hey, regular guy, my friend, it's good to see you. Uh, anyway, so yes, you guys, the one and the only stinky fish, the one that harassed my police department to no end until they got the FBI involved. Yes, they literally have the biggest snitches in their chat on panel right now. The biggest snitches in the community. Do we not, could, does somebody have the clip of Jen going to the police station to try to get Johnny Mac hemmed up for no reason whatsoever? Hmm? That's all Jen knows how to do is call the police. I like that. Wait, <laughs> I like that rest intro a lot. <laughs> and I'll laugh as you burn in hell. <laughs> But yeah, so um, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, wait, what the heck happened? Wait, what happened? We're still here, right? Hold on a minute. Let me get my shit open. Uh, we were live on the other channel. And then, uh, oh, I guess I can do my own subscribers. Or Oh, you guys already did it. Okay, good. Thank you, ma'am. Um, hold on, let me pull up my thingy. I need to pull my thingy. I don't even have my sound stuff open. Okay, we're going to mute you. And you guys, I'm so ill prepared. Hold on. We're here. Okay, we're back. We're back. We had to start over because um, StreamYard wasn't working for a minute, but now it is. And so I didn't like being it. I guess what I'll do is I'll kind of try to set up Restream, but I think you have to pay for Restream in order to have anything. And that's 19. It's cheaper than StreamYard. I don't know. We shall see. But I think I like StreamYard. Look at you, Beverly, the nice one, being all sweet in 17 months. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. The pausing. Oh boy. No, nope, we're here. We're here. We're here. Okay. And okay, wait. That one go away. And then this one. Yes. Okay. I want to make sure I have my shit open. And then here we go. Now, mind you, he used Savage's name as clickbait to get her in there. So anyway, uh, yeah, he's calling for Paul. He's like a brother. What? RPMJ, don't you have a moderator status at the Chicago Muscle Show and or FBS? If you are an FBS and or moderator on the FBS show or Chicago Muscle Show, you can regulate it. Simple as that. We're working in the now. What's up? <laughs> you don't like it, that's just too bad. You're all going to lose. That's well, exactly what Mr. St. Tone, Albert St. Tone. Okay, Jen just said this. Oh, look at you, Sadie. Gift in five. Thank you, ma'am. We have the winner is Fire and Ice, Hostile Environment, Regular Guy, and Gigi. And I think. I don't see the other one. Yay! Oh, you guys, I might open up. Uh, I might open up my Kendra thing. Is this now? No, this was yesterday. Mugsy, happy birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday if I don't see you. Thank you, Mugs. Thank you, Mugsy. Mugsy, did you know that apparently I like you? Yes. Amzilla thinks that I go after her men. No, that's savage. Savage likes the leftovers. 
Uh, anyway, this was from earlier today. That's exactly what we want them in a big pile of shit. All the scumbags. So we don't exist. Yeah, and that's exactly where they are over there on your channel. It's called El Cid 305. Exactly where they're at. And we expose the shit out of them. And we bring public awareness about their scumbags. Like John Peter McLaughlin, Tony Pizza, people who support them. Right? Nicholas Cole Lacan with the bullshit with the little kids. Huh? Yep. I think somebody that tied up somebody and robbed them and somebody that beat somebody with a pool stick is much more of a scumbag in my book. Huh? The stand up channel over attacking people's families and calling businesses and jobs. Yeah, those are the ones we're going uh, to bring public awareness about. And anybody who supports them, you will be exposed. <laughs> Take that to the bank, baby. And okay, but do you remember when you were calling, you asked me for that video of Johnny Mac at the courthouse because you were going to give it to them? I don't know if it was you or Kevin, but you guys did do that. So, I mean. And when you take it to the bank, you put it in your checking because you're going you're to spend it in your savings so it'll cool a little bit of interest, a couple of, you know, a couple of percentage points. What's up? Always remember, the trend is your friend. Like Tom? The trend is your friend. You're the trend. The trend is your friend? Uh, I have no clue. The trend is going up in stocks. You gotta keep your But then eventually, that trend might go down and you have to change your tactics. Right, Tom? Okay. Anyway, Tim Martin, Pete's the biggest coward's comment on the planet. I agree with you. One of them. Uh, John P. McLaughlin is also MREs. And that is subjective. That is your opinion. And we have different... Hey, big hair, we have different opinions. You know what's funny, guys? Yesterday, stand-up guy said he stands with Jules. So I officially, the B stands up for stand-up guy. Yes. You heard that correctly. Yep. Just in case you guys were the littlest, least bit confused. Seriously. The B stands with stand-up guy. So there's that. Yeah, I know. I can't. I, 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 I another one, and so is the stand-up cover in New York 294. Cyber hotline. Uh, see, and oh, look at now. Paul has entered the building. I repeat, stinkfish. So do we know? So you know what's really funny, though? All of y'all over there, you all, oh, thank you, Johnny Mac. All of you guys don't understand. You do not understand what you have in your chat with the stinkfish. The stinkfish is probably, hey, Deborah, how are you? Uh, and thank you, ma'am. It's good. The second season is coming out this summer. Of what? Probably should pay his fines before he ends up with a... Well, here's the thing is those fines are old, but still, if you're balling and shot calling, you should pay for those. Hi, baby. What's up, baby? I love that name. Hey. You're live, buddy. Hi, can you hear me without horrible feedback, Luke? No, you got... Oh, boy. The British. No feedback before, thanks to Tony Ash. Sound great, Pops. All right, yeah, well, you're, you're a lot more technically competent than I am, and I haven't done this for a long while. I just wanted to, uh, you know, support my friend of five years, who's obviously one of my very best friends, who I consider a sister. And oh, my goodness. Thank you, BB. You guys, they're brother and sister. He ain't 
months could have had too high a baby <laughs> thank you brandy stand with mac and the b i like that and sophie and johnny mac or johnny john yates guys i'm getting ahead of myself look at two year i'm sorry but all you all know i still want the best for her i know but she won't stop when whispers jen has got an evil streak and she won't when whispers, do you know that she is currently passing out all of the screenshots of text messages from us from 2021? She's passing out pictures of me and my ex that other people have never seen. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. Jen, I listen to what you say. Jen has got problems. She's got big problems. And problem is uh, he ain't heavy. He's her brother. And obviously you're my friend as well, Tony. So. You know, I don't, I don't want to be sort of be in all the bushes with all the drama and everything. Right. But obviously, you know, I want to be there for my friends. Okay. That's good. Obviously, you know, you know, with the work that I do, you know, obviously it's all about boundaries, as you can appreciate, sir. Absolutely. And can I just, if I, make, if I might make one point at the outset. Absolutely. Jen might be one of my very best, very closest friends of many years. So, Flo, do you really and truly believe this guy bought every single one of his certificates? This man is one of the biggest frauds I have ever seen in my life. Can you believe this? I'm in shock. Stinkfish. Paul is stinkfish, the cyberbullying freak. The one that harassed my police department to no end until they sent the FBI here. He was in contact with the FBI. I don't, I don't doubt that he's been in contact with the FBI in such since. He has bought all of his certificates. He wanted to buy Sophie certificates. I know. Well, he's been in the bushes, so he's known of Jen. This is insanity. And yes, I do counseling, therapy work, and lots of other things. Respectfully, I am not Jen's therapist. As you can hear, as you can hear I'm British. Jen's got... I'm British. I'm British. Her own board certified, licensed people that she speaks to, that she works with. And respectfully, if I listen to my friend and I talk to my friend, the same as I talk with you, Tony. I thought Maria... So Maria, does this mean he's out? He's out because Maria told him he couldn't fuck with Jen anymore. But look at this. Look at this. Oh, wait, hold on. I got another one. Hold on. Dang, I can't find what I'm looking for. Oh boy, and I'm not playing that song. Oh, you're British and you, are you pip pip? Respectfully, if you and I talk, it doesn't make me your therapist, sir. Absolutely. Maybe I'll need one someday, I might talk to you about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll find you one. I think they're on I'm, I'm you know, Oh my gosh, Benny will find him a therapist. Oh yes, she will. I'm actually my own therapist. <laughs> but I mean, if people, if people want to speak to the efficacy of the people that help Jen every day, then that's their prerogative. But all I can say is, you know, my friend has good days, she has bad days, but she's a good person. She's got a picture. Jen is a huge liar. Jen is a huge liar, and she doesn't take her mental illness uh, seriously whatsoever. Jen is the start of all of the real life for me. It all started with this bitch. All of the stuff like coming to my door, giving out my phone number, my address and stuff, that started with this. But Jen's got a big heart. She really what? does. She does not have a big heart. Not even close. She's a good person. Thank 
Yeah. Okay, where are the baskets? Where are the toothbrushes? Do you guys not remember the money that she uh, collected for toothbrushes the Christmas before last? Nobody ever saw that. Benny, where's the toothbrushes? There's a bunch of kids out there with some rotten teeth. Yeah, the, the, the operative word is to try to be good. I know that none of us are going to ever be 100% good. At the well, I mean, Tony, Tony, she's, Jane has good days and gets bad days. And yes, she gets triggered. And sometimes, oh. sometimes, she's, yeah, sometimes she says things and she shouldn't do. And respectfully, some of us hold us to feet to the fire behind the scenes. Right. But oh, my gosh. He holds her feet to the fire behind the scenes. Yeah, right. But, you know, just because Jen makes mistakes on occasions, I'm not, I'm not beating you up, Jen, you know how much I love you. No, it's fine. But at the end of the day, just because Jen makes mistakes, it doesn't make her evil. And okay. No, but it makes the... Do you guys not know the intent that she has had with dangerous information? Jen, you are evil. You're evil, and that's why your kids have TPOs against you. Not TPOs, POs against you. Those of us that do, you know, she gets her feet held hard to the fire. If it's not me, it's one of her other friends, it's Clint. And mm -hmm. she does try to learn. Does she do it quick enough, effective enough, as some of us would like? Probably not. But Jen's a good person and she's got a huge... Jen is one of the biggest troublemakers in this community. Jen has started rumors and damaging rumors on everybody. I think that's one thing that the whole female community, I think that's except for fucking Amzi and Britters, but they don't count. Uh, I think we can all agree that Jen is extremely dangerous in this community, and she's one of the worst. And we have people like Paul powdering her butt. Huge, huge heart. Thank you. And, you know, do I agree with everything that my friend says and does? Absolutely not. The same as I don't agree with everything that all of my friends do, you respectfully yourself included, sir. But at the end of the day, you know, it's about trying to help your friends, not be their judge. Right. Or beat them up. Thank you. Yeah. Like, well, the key thing is this, you know. Well, my therapist knows that Paul is like, I kind of understudy with him. Like we're covering like, uh, which stuff, um, he has a lot of essays he has to get done. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is what I was looking for. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loves me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy, cuddly toy, my up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about him. It's so much fun. Whether we're walking man to man or whether we're walking sun to sun. Cause he's my best friend. Yeah, now, a lot of this had to do when I was like, you know, when I got real antsy and hitting people up, like, if you guys don't stop, I'm going to get a TPO. And then, you know, it is what it is. As a point of established, as a point of established fact, yeah, Jen, had a mental, Jen had a mental breakdown about yeah. it. Yeah. And it was I'm, a miracle that she came as a I'm actually surprised Tabitha has. Oh, my goodness. Someone get the facts ready. <laughs> What do you mean, get the facts ready? She has been faxing ever since we've been live. I will fax every bit of information. Yes, she's been faxing away. She's a faxing fool. That has never had a mental breakdown. I suppose uh, having a, as a, a, a scumbag of a husband by the name of Jumping the Glove. I'm surprised she hasn't. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm laughing at you. I'm sorry. Well, I want to stick to something here that's very important. What is the evidence that demonstrates just, just, just the point? Wait, 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 wait. Hear me out. See, look at he. He is totally. You know, it's funny because he's using y'all. Let me do a Muzz translation. Understudy equals Jen will soon have certifications <laughs> and counseling too. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The PC load letter. Here's the question. Let me the question. What is the what is the evidence that demonstrates conclusively that John P. McLaughlin See, actually went to a gasoline station? Where Jen I, told you. Let me, let me, I told you. Paul, let me, ask, let me ask the question. What what is what is the evidence that conclude conclusively demonstrates? I'm talking about evidence admissible in a court of law. Will it be legal? Yes. Uh, criminal? Yes. Do you hear her? Yes. Yes. I sent the facts. FBS is currently inviting more people to his home. How in the world do you think that's going to look like to a judge? Uh, um, that, 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 that John P. McLaughlin, the guy who calls himself the leprechaun of the female community, Johnny, Johnny's Macedonian, right? Chicaroni, buddy, buddy's with Tony Pizza, went to that casting station with his wife. To talk bad about Jen. Stop him. That's a form of stalking. Stop what? his behavior. Went where to talk? 
wait a minute, wait, but, 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 uh, why don't you ask Jen about the time she went to the police station and was because her boyfriend left her, she was going to get trying to get Johnny uh, Mac arrested for dealing drugs. We all remember that. We do. That's what you do, Johnny. You want to know why you do that kind of shit? I, I kind of believe it already. And I haven't even looked at the evidence. It fits the bill. Because you, um, you were stopping at BS for hours around his house. You can Nobody is stalking Jen. Jen's own mind is what stalks her. You really should know more about these people. And then Paul, Paul is a fucking lunatic and has bought every single one of his certifi certifications. Ask to see them, SoFlo. Ask to see his certifications and find out where they came from. Because I believe Yahoo said he got like 50 certifications in one day. And go look at the numbers on his channel. See if it matches up. See if we're lying. You committed a crime and you, and you also were stalking up uh, Cooch not too long ago, right? Yeah, that's right. right. No, uh, as far it, it could be Jen that was stalking Cooch. Remember, she was in chats talking shit. Johnny Mac didn't go there. That is a fucking lie. See, here's the thing, Soflo. You don't like when people accuse you things that you didn't do. So why the fuck are you doing it to so many other people? What is the evidence? What is the evidence? Well, this this is what I'm coming to. This is what I'm coming to. As a, I can't speak to the background and the history between one individual and another. What I can speak to as a point of fact is that Jen went to the gas station. She asked me. Are you fucking kidding me? He is going to, he's going to co-sign her fucking crazy story. Asked me to corroborate right. her, her version of events, if you will. Okay. And she put me on a call okay. with my consent to right. the lady that worked in that gas station who had been addressed and spoken to by an, an individual who had spoken exceptionally disparagingly and disrespectfully on Jen. And I asked her myself, you know, could you describe this individual? And, he, and she did. And I asked her to speak Paul, on. Hold on real quick. I also showed them his channel and the young lady. She's about 30. 30. Yeah, go on, Paul. Thank I, you, honey. I asked. Honey. This is insanity. And see, Paul, this is the problem. People like you that are empowering this lunatic and tell, and instead of telling her to get real help, she is not getting help. I assure you, I guarantee you, this woman is not getting therapy every week. She's getting worse and worse, and y'all are y'all are amping her up. I asked the lady whose name, you know, I'm not going to say her name, that's, that's wrong. I right. spoke to the young lady and I asked her to speak to the veracity of. Of what, Jen? Okay, so here's the thing, Jen. Do you not remember when you said there was somebody, there was a girl outside of the dispensary that wanted to get in a fight with you? Do you guys remember that? I remember it. And then, Jen, do you not remember when somebody pulled a gun on you in traffic, supposedly, that you blamed me for? Nothing to do with me. Jen, hey, little shoe. Jen, you know what I'm thinking here? Is you behave in public and are argumentative and an asshole to people in public, and that's why they talk shit about you. Remember Brenda from the cemetery? Remember what Brenda the Swan Lady, when she called the police, what she said about y'all? You're argumentative and you fight with everybody in real life. That is why it has nothing to do with the internet. It has to do with you. What Jen was saying, and I said, do you believe that my friend, what she's told me was credible, honest, and factual? And I imparted to her as a point of confirmation what Jen had told me. And she said, you know, this individual had come in. He was accompanied. And did they, did they more or less give a description of the, of the person that was with him? Yes, just yes, said sir. that he looked yellow and said that he bought an icy because he can't. He looked yellow. OK, was that? Can't drink tea or coffee. Clear. And he was and he was, and he was in, in which state is this? Ohio? I'm in Ohio, but he's four counties away from me. You want to know something? If I was up there right now, you don't want to I would have requested that later with a gun. Can I, can I look at the video? Well, they're going to pull the. Oh, my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? So you have nothing better to do with your life that you're going to go, oh my gosh. So Flo, have a ball with Jen. Let Jen make you look like a fool. This is funny. Pull the camera footage if it comes to that. Okay. So he was, a, he was in a public gas station that I was going to be was, hired in and now I can't be hired in. The may have to go find another job because of this Tony, Tony, yeah. he was described as a shorter gentleman and I'm not heightist. <laughs> I'm just trying to like what was said. He was described as with a lady of dark complexion whose okay. skin was obviously a, a little bit lighter. She had, Again, a, she, had a, she had a tattoo on her breast that said Tony Action. I See, that's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Why would you say some foul shit like that? And that just goes to prove you are not repented of your sins. 
I did and, ask that uh, uh, so, and <laughs> basically, yeah, she did confirm that he didn't he didn't look well. Okay. And um, like I said, and I said my friend has told me that this was his channel. Is this what the gentleman looked like? And it was like, yeah, that's him. So I mean, Jen, how did, you, how, did you, how did you verify that you actually called that place up to see that? No, I went out there. Okay, or was this maybe one of Jen's uh, crackhead friends? This is insanity. It's people entertaining this bullshit that makes her worse. Thank you. Exactly. And you look like a fucking fool. You do. This is insane. Jen went, Jen went up there and I spoke to the lady over the video, Tony, to answer your question, sir. And they want a picture of him. Jen, Jen was in the gas station and I, I spoke to the lady I on, the on a video call. She, she gave the, the video in front of the lady and I spoke to her on the camera and looked her in the eye. And what I would, she what I would ask her to do is that she had to work over because I was supposed to go um, pick her up because I did speak to her earlier today because she loves Mia. And what I would and ask you to do, sorry, but the other lady saw, no, the other lady saw. What? Oh, these are her friends. These are her friends. You see, this isn't, this is insane. This is probably people Jen does drugs with. She saw her too, the one that had the tattoo on her neck yeah. and she confirmed um, him and his wife. And she said, what, that I, would, he what, I, what I would ask you to do, Tony, no. is another day is for Jen to go, when she goes back to the gas station to do the same. Jen talks about people every single day. Wait until Jen starts slandering you. You'll have a good time with it. Thing that she did with me with your good self. Okay. So you I can text her right now. So I can go pick her up right now. Yourself. Oh my gosh, she's on the way to the gas station. Do it. You want to know something? Yeah, she's I love that. Funny. I really love that. And let me tell you something. Yeah, I think uh, that she would take the panel yeah, with you. I believe you have a real good, you, you have a stronger case. I have a real strong case against this Thank guy. You. Well, yeah, because now I'm out of the freaking job that I was going to work third shift because my credentials with a domestic violence, even though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Er, hold on. I was literally just listening to Sophie commentate on her live. And Jen said that she got a job. So now within one day's time, Jen is now lost a job. Or wait, she said she was going to be a server. She see Jen is spiraling and y'all are you are letting her go. Nobody cares about Jen to stalk her. There is other stuff going on right now. Jen is only being stalked by the thoughts in her head. No, it is a misdemeanor. Prohibits me from coaching kids on my own. I could be an okay. assistant coach. Right, right, right. But, 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 but here's. Yeah, right. Jen, why would you coach kids when you can't even be around your own? Your kids got restraining orders from you against you because of your behavior and your craziness on the internet. And instead of working on that, where are you? You are in another chat creating a whole hell of a lot more problems by creating a whole hell of a lot more lies. Why don't you worry about your own life? She's never going to be a coach. Jen, who the fuck are you going to coach? You look like a predator. And that thing that Jake said about you, that was true. He felt bad that everybody was going so hard on you because he was friends, grew up being friends with your son and whatnot. But Jen, fact remains you did. And why don't you tell SoFlo while you were trying to say that I was uh, I was trying to incite Mikey to do use a fentanyl vape? Jen, why don't you tell SoFlo how you were in a private uh, group, whatever, video call with Mikey and you were doing naked jumping jacks when Mikey was 18 years old? Why don't you tell everybody that one, huh? That's the truth. And if you don't believe me, go ask the people who hate me. They'll tell you the same fucking thing. So it's not like just people in here are going to agree with me because they like me. Go ask the other people. Go ask fucking Savage and all the rest of them. They'll tell you the same thing. Jen is completely inappropriate and has predatorial behavior. So by having your up on her panel, it's not a good look. It looks dumb because all she does is lie. And then fish is a huge cop collar. But here's the thing, though. I even started it right now. But, 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 but people love it when I do that. I did get a waitressing job, though. But, here, but, but here's the oh, thing. Oh, okay. Take that back. So she lost that one, got a waitressing job. You guys, I can't. I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. <laughs>
gotta stay away from a restaurant job. running anywhere is if you're running from something. The voice is in your head. only way you're running is if you're running from somebody probably just like me i will go for a walk but i don't think you'll ever see me going for a run unless i'm running for somebody hey westies how are you i think though jen mm -hmm. uh i consider that guy to be a, a hardcore stalker of women yes I'm very much a stalker yes uh, i believe he's an individual who does not care about his family at all at all at all i, I believe that too i don't think he yeah. Says the person that attacks everybody else's family member and thank goodness that we're not like you and do what you do because that's what he's trying to do. Hey, yeah, I'm, uh, I've am i been, I mean, you guys, I can't, I can't say that it's not pissing me off and upsetting me. Anybody that would actually give uh, his own life but, methadone to get it hooked up on that ingredient. But they're not getting it. They're not getting me like that. They can be as horrible as they want. And you know what, Heidi Black? I, I because of Siwa, I heard what you said yesterday. And you know what? You're not fucking with me because that picture doesn't fuck with me but you know what it does it shows everybody the type of person you are because that day as much as you say that shit wasn't real yeah of course but guess what there is no close call 
with a train. Either it happens or it doesn't. So you can fuck off. Well, thank you very much. So yeah, Heidi Black is a very horrible, mean person. And I'm glad that Siwa is exposing her because everybody thinks that she just speaks such wonderful things. No, she doesn't. She puts her hat on backwards and she says she's going to go fuck people up. She's going to go to their house. She's going to do this. She's going to do that. All because I called her a C-U-N-T to six people. Yeah. That's how it all started. Anyway. This is coming to be able to manipulate her. Let me ask you a question, Jen. So you are the individual that he went to when you were going to court. He went over there with his wife. He went live. He went live. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm eating the rest of my uh, birthday cake candy bar. Was actually stalking in the courtroom and actually recorded what was happening in the in the he courtroom against the, judge, against the judge's wishes. Am I correct? Yeah, she told him that he was going to get thirty days in jail, and it was another person. And that's what gets me about Jules is because Jules is the one who directed it. No, no, you're talking to the person who did. They asked me for the video. That was it. Jules, Jules is an independent victim. And she said again, "I drove by there." Is it right if I drop, please? Uh, guess what? So, Flo, why don't you tell her the truth? Why don't you tell her that it was you and Kevin that did that? Go prove it that that was me. Because I have proof of me forwarding the video to you. I do. And you're a piece of shit. You're an unrepented woman abuser. And that's a fact. But I'm not comfortable being on panel when other things are being discussed. Okay, honest. okay. Ooh, look at that. All right. All right. I'll you after. No, just no. to anybody. I'll be in the Here traffic, okay? Okay, love you. Thanks. Right now, so I can't talk to you. No, no, it's okay. No, no. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you give me Goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, that's good. It's just an annoying person at the door when you tell them that you have something to do and they keep going. No, it wasn't a pizza. It's somebody trying to sell an electric whatever. He's like, well, when your electric bill goes up, dude, I'm busy. I don't like door-to-door -door people. Anyway, let's go. But before you go, are you aware that Jules was uh, was involved with sex trafficking? And that's a lie. You are such a motherfucking dick. I'm aware. I'm aware. That, I'm aware that there've been certain rumors with regards to that individual over many years. Rumors. Okay, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do because she was trying to make me. Uh, 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 she was trying to put it like a uh, uh, make me. Uh, how do you say? Look bad. To, uh, to I don't really care. I mean. You know, Guess what? You're a piece of shit. I don't really care. I don't like, I don't like to be slandered. Just so I'm oh, 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 oh. You don't like to be slandered, but you'll slander the fuck out of other people. Get the fuck out of here. Go out and slander me. Right? I mean, I mean, you know, all the, all the evidence. Where have I ever slandered him? Where have I ever slandered him? Did I ever call him an arist? You said yourself you beat somebody with a pool stick and you do it again. That's unrepented. Evidence. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there on the internet. I'm gonna bring public awareness to the world, Jules. Take my name out your mouth, lady. Oh, fuck you, off. Are, if you think we're Bambi, no, 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 Bambi. Fuck off. Keep making threats like that and see how uh, how far that gets you. Bambi did, did, didn't do it the right way. I'm, I'm gonna do it the right way, Jules. Take my name out your mouth and stop slandering my name. What? I didn't I say take my name out your mouth. When did I slander his name? I didn't call you an artist. I said you beat somebody with a pool stick and that's truth. You told everybody that. So why don't you watch your mouth? You've been talking about me. You got a whole ass channel talking shit. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck everything about you. I know you don't got no PTSD. I know it's a scam. Let me tell you something, Jules. You will have one. Because the public aware and it's all going to be legal. Well, I point point Wait, that in your name, you know what's going to come out next to it? Sex, traffic, or confidential informant. Do you understand that? Leave me the fuck alone and take my name out your mouth, B. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You beat a woman with a pool stick and you said you'd do it again. That is unrepented. Fuck you. You've had my mouth, my name in your mouth for how long? Fuck you. I'll right. play the traps on you, right? Thank you. Thank and you, you know what's really yeah. funny is, you know what's really funny is now Fish is on panel with somebody who's threatening me. Fish, do you realize that? Fish, somebody who talked to the FBI on me. Fish, I think it's time for me to talk to the FBI. Right? I want to thank you very much for coming on here. Thank and, you. Uh, and, 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 I got a little sweaty there for a second, but 
I, I, no, but, listen, I may not learn things. And did you see how fish dropped like that? I was never in fear of being arrested. Never. You, on the other hand, beat a woman with a pool stick and you said you'd do it again. I kept your name out of my mouth for months and you had my name in yours. You put me in fucking thumbnails because I'm now speaking up about it. Fuck you. You are a phony and a fraud. That is what you are. And nobody in the female community even cares about you. And if Jen drops off your panel right now, I will stop doing this. The first or second time around. And Jules, my dogs definitely didn't poop on any cemetery. I went there because my parents passed within a year. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I, remember, Jen, Jules, I never recovered from it. And Jules needs to stop that. You're slandering yeah. me. And yeah. I can sue you, Jules. I can't. And I'm going okay. to. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, but he's got no money. You're going to sue me. Yeah, I don't have any money. Neither do you, Sofa. No money, man. You're, 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 no, you don't. You're, this thing is forget about it. Jules. That way, if you mention me, I'll put your. I can't believe that Brian Press sat and sits in the chat and listens to this. So whatever, I, Brian Press. I wished you well when you were gone. I don't even understand this shit. I'll put your whole chat, every single one of them. I yeah, like I will. Jules, yours is so dumb. Go to bed, boo boo. Yeah, I, I want to go to bed. It's the day. Thank you so much, Mr. I want to thank you so much for dropping by, Jen. I really appreciate you. And, and I'm going to go out there and talk to the young lady. She did want to take the link, so we can do that. Just stay in touch. Thank you, guys. Uh, I appreciate good. it. Bye-bye. And that's the end of that. Because we don't care what you have to say. Our community doesn't want you. The only one that wants you is Lindsay. And you've got the crazies with you. You have Jen, who doesn't... My police department called her 1096. Do you want to hear that? Let's hear it again. Shall we? Shall we? Trying to remember where it is. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. JFID, uh, where are you? I'm just seeing your message asking if I could see you in the chat. JFID, me must say something. Because I haven't seen you in a minute. So can you believe this? You are sitting there with cop collars. You are, you are. Once a criminal, oops, once a criminal, always a criminal. But how about you keep my name out of your fucking mouth? How about that? You're sitting next to stolen valor. I don't care which way you, whatever, he's stolen valor. Hold up. I'm gonna try to find it. And then I can also pull up all of the FOIA requests, but I have to do some of the redacting of when Fish was talking to my police department every day. And you know why Fish was talking to my police department? He was calling me an international cyber bully. But you, on the other hand, sir, you are the one that's putting up websites about people. And you know what? It's illegal to put up websites like that in Illinois. That is definitely considered harassment and stalking in Illinois. So I think that maybe stand-up guys should look into that. Look it up. So, oh, okay, darn it. That's that one. Shit. I cannot get over the fact that he asks for all of this respect. You don't deserve anything. Is this the one? No. But do you see him making threats? He's literally making threats with Fish up there. And I fucking love that shit. Because Fish, you're knee deep in this. And Fish, if you look at what he did to me, and I didn't do a thing to him. He just didn't like the way I, I talked to, uh, to uh, what's his face? Are those are PDFs. Okay, here it is. Oh, I was in the right one, I think. Police and fire dispatch. Uh, yes, I need to do a wellness check on somebody because they're on a live right now talking about my children and I have uh, two orders right now. And See, look at it. And she comes right out of her own mouth that she's got orders with her kids, but yet I am a problem. Fish, you're just a fucking creep. And he's manipulating Jen. And there's no way in hell you guys have been friends for five years. It's about to be modified. Her name is. Hold on. 
and this has been going on for years, and my TPO is going to be filed tomorrow with I, I've talked to you guys. Guys, I got to get, I have my thing on the mute so I can mute my address. Guys, so many times that I guess I should have filed before, but I thought she would stop, and she's not stopping, ma'am. And my little girl is a minor. She is 17, and she's talking about her and her brother and sister. Okay, I had somebody go in there to tell her to please stop. And okay, ma'am. Like, what I is the address? Know. Do a wellness check because obviously something's wrong with a 52-year-old woman and a B filter. And she won't leave me alone. Okay, repeat if the address just to make sure I have it correct here. I'll molest her and everything. I'm taking screenshots so I can give these to my lawyer in the morning. Okay. And she knows I was going to make a okay, wellness check. Okay, ma'am, hold on. You have a lot of great information, but I need to get some from you before we get get any further. What's a good yes, phone number for you? Uh, and my name is... Oh. She's waiting for you guys to come. She's mocking me. Okay, so this address is of the woman who is on the live... Yes, talking about she's online. Kids. You guys will hear her when you go up there. Yeah. I asked her to please stop or I would send a wellness check and okay. she started playing. That is not why you send a wellness check, Jen. That is not why you do that. I just don't understand how anybody can listen to this freak and take what she says. I like music. I, I don't know. Who is this woman to you? Her, her name is, she has a channel on YouTube and I actually started self-harming because of her because she called yeah, me. And that was a complete and total lie. We all know that she's blamed that on several different people. Clint, we even have a video of her yelling at Clint and telling Clint that's why she did it. She did cut herself because of him. Who is she sister. to you? Do you know her personally? She's an online bully. She's a bully. She stalks my HIPAA information. I. She stalks my HIPAA. And this is why my police department said caller sounds 1096. I'm, my, my TPO is filed. It hasn't got out to her yet. Because she where got is it? I'm from Cincinnati. Where is it, Jen? I should have listened to you guys years ago. Jen, where oh. is it? I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm very sorry. It just, I cannot listen to that woman. Jen, this was March 4th. What's taking so long for the TPO? Talk about my children, and she's got people in there like, uh, and they just sit and threaten me. Some of them have come to my home, though, my old house. The only person that ever came to her house was nailed by Rachel, and that is because Jen was acting like she was going to K herself and acting completely crazy and erratic. That's why. We did it out of friends. Instead of calling the police to come to her house for a uh, wellness check, we had one of us do it. Good night, Macy, and thank you so much for the gifted membership. I think, yeah, you gifted a membership. I'm pretty sure it was you. Okay. You said you're in for you got that, correct? correct? Yes, ma'am. And she's waiting for you guys. She's just taunting me. Oh, you did it, Are Macy. You I think you did it. I just did. Never and mind. I got, um, you I went won in there to ask her to take, give me a link to tell her, like, hey, I don't want to have to make a wellness check because I'm sure Lombard is about as tired of you as anything. And she started playing uh, poltergeist music and taunting me. So she's waiting for you guys. She's a werewolf. So, okay. It was not poltergeist music, Jack. And the reason why we played this is because you came in here saying, stop talking about my kids. Uh, and I'm like, what? I'm like, nobody's even talking about your kids. So I played this. I played that because she came in here acting cuckoo for fucking Cocoa Puffs. It's funny. Okay, is she going to be hostile? The needs to get some inpatient. Is she going to be hostile what? with law enforcement? Uh, I, I don't know. She's got bipolar. Will she be hostile, Clint? Uh, no, she'll think it's funny. She'll play the whole thing. Actually, she'll put the live and act, act like the cops won't know, but make her in the live when you guys get there. So that was her old reasoning. She was doing this because she wanted me to have to end my live because Jen doesn't like it when anybody has any type of numbers. It really and truly bothers her because Jen, you fucking threw all your shit away. You know how you threw it away? By lying.
She could have been a contender. Thank you, Gene. Wait till you guys Jean. hear, the Wait, you guys hear what he have next. 70 times. She's very hostile because she's got a problem. Put a picture up of herself today with crack whatever. I mean, I don't know. She was with a sex trafficker. The lady's loony. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely fucking insane. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me see if I... Because I do have, I did have makeup on, of course, because I went and I got my driver's license done today. Oh, I look. Why? Where's the light? You guys, hold on a minute. Uh, I look crazy. Oh, no, that's not it. I don't know. You guys, look, at, I look so... Uh, it looks so dark in here and I have a ring light on and everything. I don't get it. Maybe it's a shadow from the, I don't know. Oh, it's a shadow from the computers from the, whatever. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. And the cops did not show up because Jen acted crazy. The lady's loony. Okay. But it's just like, if a cop goes and says, Hey, you feel like committing suicide? She says no. And then you guys have to go back. And it's like, when I get when the TPO goes through, which it will this week, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have her arrested. My word. So, uh, Jen, this is over a month later, and I'm still free as a bird. It's my lawyer's done with her. He was just actually in Chicago. Okay, what's your last name? Never once have I spoke to her lawyer. I tried calling him the one time when she said that he wanted to talk to me or whatever, and uh, guess what? He didn't. Hold on, I want to see if the neighbors uh, talk to dude. Hold on one minute, guys. Hold on one second. Wow. You guys, I just got a message from somebody that I, and I'm not even going to, I'm not going to say it. Don't, so don't think I'm going to dox that person, but I'm shocked. Pleasantly shocked. Pleasantly shocked. Wow. But thank you again to that person. I just responded and I said, thank you, but thank you. Wow. <clears throat> wow. I really appreciate that. I do. Especially right now with everything that's going on. So, my last name is, and she will dox my name online, and that's fine. I don't care anymore. I, I mean, that's my dead mother's name. Thank you, Miss Mickey. What do you mean by rebooting? Oh, happy primer birthday eve. Follow mod, sweet friends. I got my work go out goal. Yes, good for that. Good for that. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Anyway, so I'm really shy. Hello, Ace. Sure. <laughs> hey, Ace. Did you, Ace, are you John and Cody's son? <laughs> wait till you guys hear what I have planned, though. You guys, wait till I got to get to the plan stuff. We're going to finish this and we're going to go into our, uh, John knows what it is, but shh, don't say anything. Mother's nickname. She died last year and I caught myself because it's 
She covered me every day, and my soap is on her channel still. And there are people in there that have harassed me and my husband, and they call his in-laws in New Mexico. I want her in that room to please leave us all alone. That's all I ask. And stop talking about my kids. Did you have a PPO in the mail? I have a TPO that I'm going to go send out tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to put it through. I thought she would quit. I wanted to not have to do this, but clearly I have to. And I will do it, and you will not have to worry about her. I will get her offline. Do you hear that? She is going to take care of it, and she's going to get me offline. Jen's going to do it. Is Jen Bailey still with the guy she was with on the TV show? Uh, Yes. She beats him daily, allegedly. I have to worry about her. I will get her offline. Okay. Because when whoever goes out there is going to mute it, and make it like she's not online, and everybody will hear that cough there. And they'll pull the FOIA when the cops go out there because you can pull it, but you know, for lawyer purposes, but she uses the FOIAs for entertainment and she plays them. She's got people in her room that threaten to punch me in my teeth. I, I, I it's just too much, ma'am. Okay. All right. We'll get. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate it. You're Just welcome. Please ask her to stop talking about my kids. Okay. All right. So now, if anybody wanted to pull that FOIA request, you can literally see that the they clearly write that the caller sounds 1096. And when you look up 1096, what do you see? It says mentally unstable. So you are definitely with the wrong team. So now, you guys. So what I want to play for y'all is, hold on a minute. Okay. All right, folks. So I mentioned this on Sophie's yesterday. We are going to take a turn in the Wayback Machine. And thank you, Miss Mickey. Dumb tablet. Um, anyway, this is in the Wayback Machine. And the reason why we're going to listen to this is because I wasn't an issue back then. John wasn't an issue back then because John was friends with this person. But you're going to hear a lot of the similarities. So let's just take a ride in the Wayback Machine. I hope I picked the right one because there's two parts to this. It's taking a minute. You can recognize that breathing anywhere, can't you? Do you guys recognize the breathing? Can you see me, Maria? I can see you. Okay. So, how are you doing this evening? I'm okay. Seriously, though, for you to say the things that you've been saying about me that I just got even just a little clip of what you just said about me is messed up. Uh, The only reason I'm coming on here is to clear everything up. So imagine that. So this is Yahoo Boy interviewing Maria in the Wayback Machine. Thank you, Lady Lynn. Two dollar jewels. Thanks you. No, this is Maria and Yahoo Boy. And at this point in time, um, Maria and John were friends. I really wasn't an issue then. Uh, It's very interesting. It's very interesting because a lot of this is very similar. So let's find the similarities. Hey, go ahead. You have to understand that you're a blogger and you have 10,000 people who don't know me and you're spreading rumors about people. Look at just that, just that line. I don't, it was three years ago. I don't know the exact date, but it was three years ago. 
So do you hear that? This is the exact same thing that she blames John with, is you have this huge platform and blah, 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 blah. Yes, Yahoo is the dick face drawer. So if you're wondering where all the dicks came from on pictures, they are the interviewer. Exactly. Thank you, JJ. Uh, but no, she's exactly the same. Same script, different cast. Yahoo boy can suck a camel pack. Yes. I agree with you, Miss Mickey. Well, you don't know. I never in my life have harassed anybody or made anybody go into committing suicide. If you would have taken... I like those humdingers right out the gate, right out the gate. Isn't that fun? Do you hear that? Right out the gate. Jules, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm glad they decided you wasn't one of them because it's given me the opportunity to know you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, do you hear that? Oh my goodness, Tina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But isn't that really funny? Because this is the same type of stuff that she is accusing John of. It's just funny. It's just the same script, different cast. Time to message me, to ask me anything. You didn't ask me anything at all. You just don't do that to people. You just can't, you don't know somebody and you automatically say, she's brought somebody to suicide. Have you ever thought that the person that's telling you that has mental problems? See, here she is. She's constantly harping on people's mental issues. This is when they were talking about rule back then. Yeah, this it's very funny, though, because when you listen to it now, when knowing what's going on right now, it's kind of funny because these are the same things. It gets better. She was posting pics and doxing nonstop like she does on YouTube. She just did it on Facebook and IG before she came to YouTube. Exactly. Thank you, regular guy. Making things up. Have you ever heard of people making things up that aren't real, that aren't happening? I have, but this is not, okay, let me explain. Do this. you know you can make the situation worse by doing what you're doing? Because I have um, people messaging me that follow you or that are that are now cursing me out and saying stupid things who, that no, the normal person would not message somebody they don't know but, and just curse them. Can you believe that she's saying, isn't it just funny to think that this is the same Maria? On Instagram, on a messenger. On, relax, relax for a second. So you're saying that you guys didn't post, repost a video of this girl having a seizure? Absolutely not. Amanda. I was the only person who called 911 without knowing her full name. <coughs> talking about Amanda. Without knowing that what state she was in. I gave them her screen name and the 911 operator was looking at it and telling me, that oh, unfortunately you, they can't trace um, Instagram to get help. Nobody, nobody that saw that video would do that. Every single person that saw that video are mothers. Okay, we would never post somebody having a seizure and making fun of her. Let me tell you something. So we were one that? of four. Huh? So who did that? The same, Amanda. So the same person who has herself having a seizure tagged everybody and made fun of herself. I think. Okay, she let me well. let me explain this to you. There was four of us in a group chat. We met because of Ninety Day Fiance. So that's again Ninety Day Fiance group. Uh, this was long before Maria barely even knew I existed. She only knew I existed as being a friend to Brooke at the time. So yeah. We were the only four people that were getting messages, only four people that were getting messages from these same fake accounts. How nobody knew we were in a group chat except the four women. OK, so why is this supposed stranger harassing, um, sending conspiracy theories? Once again, they have been Maria has been going with conspiracy theories since day one messages saying um, that Amanda's crazy. Amanda's um, hope she dies from having a seizure. Hope she falls on top of her child and kills him. Who, who in their right mind would even write something like that? Then we started talking amongst ourselves without her, saying these messages were coming to us at two or three in the morning. The, that's the only time Amanda was ever up. 
we were sleeping because we work. Okay. So finally, I was beyond myself trying to find out who this fake profile was, who would even dare post somebody having a seizure and, and laugh about it. No, we couldn't figure it out. Nobody. And then she started messaging, messaging, and everything was, um, we were trying to work, you know, trying to figure out what was going on. And then I told her that I had started talking to somebody she told me not to talk to. And um, that the messages got even crazier. The Thank you, Glitter, for the super sticker. Uh, do you hear this? So much, Maria. There is more to life than all knowing about everybody else's problems. That's why I'm glad I'm not involved in all this shit. I am super glad. This is just too much. Way too much. Anyhow. She messaged the more it looked exactly like a writing. And we did nothing to her. We said to her, we said to each other, this woman has big time problems. We have to block her. So why, we don't need this shit. Okay, if, if you realize that she had problems, why didn't you block her from the very beginning? Why did you keep communicating with her? Exactly. We were we didn't realize she had these problems until the uh, four people who were in that group chat started getting messages from the same um the same profile, a fake profile. Why only the four people in that group are getting messages? Why not somebody else? And why did these messages start? Because she's that she's has the type of person that needs somebody to say, "Poor Amanda. Oh my God, are you okay? Uh, is everything okay?" Just like that mouth, that syndrome where the the kids, the mother hurts the kids. I don't even know what the name of it is. They have to, they, that's the type of person she is. We talked amongst ourselves and said, we're not taking this chance. We're not going to be mean to her because she's got some, something going on in her mind, but we're going to block her. So what, what about we this did long, long draw? This is just weird though. Do you just hear, this is just all weird. It's just a group. Maria has always been in a group of mean girls. Always. That is her best, her biggest jam. And you know, I run from group chats. I do. A message saying that I'm sorry that you're a terrible mother. I'm sorry that you have mental issues. I'm sorry. If she sent, okay, if she sent you that message, I'm going to tell you now. If she sent you that message, that message was sent to a fake account called you know, Elmoon62. You know well, how do you know that was from her? You're talking to Amanda. It's extremely I, obvious. Look. Look, let me tell you okay? something, Maria. Let Don't play these something. games with me because you're too old to play this game. I'm too fucking old to play this game. I, I I've been harassed for months and now... Listen to the victim. Hooking on to you and you're no, not no, realizing uh, that's it. Yahoo boy. You, need, you need to slow down because Amanda is not the only person that's reached out to me. There's more people. There's probably about... Yeah. I'd probably say about 25... <laughs> 30 people. 25 fake accounts. Look at Casa Tiburon. Hi, Sandy. See what I mean? See, look at it. She's yelling at people in the chat. He's saying that people have reached out to him saying that Maria has harassed them and blah, 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 blah. Oh, they're fake. They're fake. They're fake. I, I, it's I two can't or see them because there's it's, something wrong with the chat. So I don't know. Okay. There's two or three. There's three or four people. And it's all the same people. Everybody is the same person. So you're, you're I mean, we got we got we, Sandy, we got Amanda, we got Mofongo. They have a lot of accounts. <sighs> Listen to me. That same, you know, the same person I sent that message to that I said, um, you're um, I'm sorry you have the mental problem. I'm glad I blocked you and all this thing. When she and by the way, this is the man who she posted pictures of his three-year-old. Kept harassing me. I said that to her after I got doxxed. She sent me pictures of my house, pictures of my address, pictures of my employment. And she said, um, I go, how the hell did you get my house? Oh, I, um, I know you moved and I got it through your voter registration. I know it has Mert, and that's why I'm playing that. This is her Yahoo boy is interviewing her. She wrote Sandy's mother and daughter to tattle on Sandy, saying she's a victim of Sandy's to make Sandy step.
And Maria Wonder. Mm. I would love to hear an old live of the defendant and eyeball going at it since they love playing lives of Jules fighting John or Siwa. If that's what they're doing, go for it. Have at it. You have a good time with it. We don't care. Go play your childish games. That's it. Thank you, Glitter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? You didn't know that? Oh, yeah. She posted Yahoo Boy's three-year-old and said, Daddy, pay attention to me and stop bothering those women on the internet. Stuff like that. Do you think that's right? No, Do you look, think I, that I, they should have called I my know, job? I don't know. I don't know the circumstances. Do you hear that? Three years ago, talking about her job. Personally, I don't think by posting okay, so information it, like that is right unless unless you get attacked first. I mean, if you get attacked first, it's fair game. Okay, I didn't attack you, and you came after me full blown. Actually, no. I did. What did I tell I you? I did. What did I tell you first? I saw you spamming in a freaking YouTube chat with your actual. Uh, yeah. YouTube oh yeah, YouTube. I did that exactly. Yeah. And when did I do that? When and did I do that? Why? After you I started posting my pic. After you started posting no, my negative. picture and making no, memes. No, 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 no. no I See, look at, so even posting her picture in memes is enough to get her going. So you want to sit there and you want to talk shit about people and you want to play these games, but you don't want, it's not okay to do it to you. That's the problem. Maria has got the thinnest skin of anybody. It, no, that wasn't. You're, you got the timeline wrong. Now, look, I, I can take a picture of the screenshot where, uh, look, I can take a picture of the screenshot where you called me the C word. And then I can take a picture of every single message I left on Sherelle's. And it's after you called me that. That's not correct. Because you, you started I had no that. reason. When I, no, when I, I, lied, I don't care who I you lied. argue with. We, we're here following people for 90 days. We don't give a shit who you, you guys are arguing. I don't care who you argue with. You don't come after followers. Okay, I would have no reason to say okay, that look, if you look, didn't start this you with were spamming, me. You were spamming in YouTube. Look, yeah. Magical Bagels 01, another fake account. Listen, Dash Biatch, another one of her accounts. How many mm -hmm. more accounts are you going to listen to? I can't see them, so I don't know. Everything is like the chat is not. I can't see the chat. It's stuck. But anyway, look. Hi, look, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Why don't you use your full name or your real name? Ma Maria. Do you hear her? Tell me that this is not the same one. And this is three years ago. Same crap she did to me. I have lives of Momo on my panel dragging stalker. She hated stalker and vice versa. Also, Momo had a secret Twitter account doxing Yahoo Boy's job and his wife's job. Wow. But no, it's like nobody can ever say boo to Maria, but... But she is allowed to say and do some of the horrible things. She flat out told me she posted Yahoo Boy's daughter because he called her a C-U-N-T. She used his daughter as a profile picture on IG, too. For, wow. Tell me that is, tell me that that's uh, equivalent. And that's Maria. Maria, let me ask you this. Is it a coincidence that literally hundreds of people have said similar things about your um, your etiquette online on Instagram and Facebook? I don't give a crap what people say about my etiquette and Facebook. I don't or Instagram. I don't put up with bullies. I don't like it. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not running away. I'm not. But you are the bully. Everybody that's heard the things that you said, the things that you've said about my mother, about using a profile picture, I just said, because you have been allowing the Glenwood account and those pictures and stuff in your account, then fine. Because you're being messy, I'll be messy. And so then you take that a step further. That's the problem. A three-year-old with all the sickos on the internet. Yep. And once on the internet, always on the internet, because you know damn well everybody has screenshots of that shit. So, Maria, how would you put yourself in that place now that you're a grandmother? You know what I mean? Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, I just lost my place. Hold on. You harassing me? I said that to her after I got doxxed. She...
Okay, there's two or three, there's three or four people. And it's all the same people. Wait a minute. We did that already, right? You don't come after followers. Okay? I would have circumstances. Personally, I don't think by posting okay, so information it, like that is right unless unless you get attacked first. I mean if you get attacked first, it's fair game. Okay, I didn't attack you. And you came after me full blown. Actually, no. I did what did I tell I you? I didn't what did I tell you first? I saw you wow so there's that and so that just goes to show that maria you are still the same damn person that you were three years ago this age like great wine oh it's it gets better there's even more to this there's a wait till you hear what she blames danielle for coming in a freaking youtube chat with your actual uh, yeah oh yeah chat. i did that exactly oh, wait, and on. when did i do that when okay. did i do that okay hold on because this this crap was dying down because she finally there was nobody playing her game. She saw you harassing me and she jumped on your train and you Ooh. fell for it. Ooh. Amanda, you fell and Mofongo, you fell for it and you started harassing me for no reason. Okay, um, for no yeah. reason. Look at the do same accounts go... writing the same thing over and over again. Do I, do I have to go back to this? Look, I saw you spamming in YouTube. Like literally, you must have been on your computer, copy paste. Uh, yeah, a hundred thousand times, a hundred thousand times after every single meme you made of my face, of that's my not, picture. That's not, that's not correct. Anyway, look. It's all. Yeah, look, I don't care anymore. No. Like, look, but I'm gonna ask you. So, you do you want to clear up this stuff about Danielle and? Oh, well, here we go. The issue that happened with that. Do you do you want um do you want screenshots? Because for years, Danielle and Beth have been harassing me, calling me a stalker. Um, if I was a stalker. So, okay, this was three years ago. And she said that these people, all because Jules told Eyeball about herself, seems fair, right? Uh, you hear this? She said years before. So Maria, this is repeat behavior. The only person in this community that has this kind of a reputation and these problems is you. You, as Ann would say. Do I have screenshots of her telling me she's going to be in Miami next weekend? And why don't I make a double date with myself and my, hus my husband and her and, and Muhammad? If, if Does that sound like a stalker? If, if you got the screenshots, why don't you, you could actually put them up here on, on the screen. I No, I, I have to go look through them. I don't have it here with me, but I, you can post well, it on yours. I'll send it to you. I have no problem. Send it to me. I'd, I'd love to because it, everybody's telling me the same thing. Because if I'm such a stalker, then why are we t making plans to for to go out when she gets here? Huh? So, okay. And why would she tell everybody that I'm after Muhammad when she knows I'm married? Okay? Nobody likes Muhammad except Danielle. Okay? I'm not leaving my husband for a damn foreigner for anybody. And he's my son's age. And this shit drags on for years and years and years. Years and years and years. Hear that? Years and years and years. It's ridiculous. And then you post that I, that I, you posted that I paid for sex from cast members and I had that idiot that's following you make a comment that I was paying for sex from cast members. I don't even know the freaking cast members and I don't pay for sex. I'm a married woman. Would you like them somebody to do that to your wife? So, Wait, did she say damn foreigner? I didn't even I didn't even pick that up. Why? Why are all these rumors? I'm thinking of shutting my window because it's getting a little chilly. That's where my mind is right now. Circulating then. Oh, she did say I that. Don't know. Who else? Hold Whoever on. said you that guys listen, I'm gonna Yates the posted something about your wife. I don't care about Yates. I'm talking about myself. Look, look. I'm These rumors are Yates. circulating because. Okay, I've seen you bashing Beth. Do you do you think I care if you bash Beth? Please bash her. I couldn't care less because she spent her whole time saying that I I'm on drugs. I've used oxycodone or some shit. I drink alcohol. I've never drank alcohol. I've never taken any type of medication. I've never been hooked on pills. Beth got fired way before she got, um, she was on 90 days. She lost her nursing license because she stole some medication. So how dare her, how dare her say that when I've never been arrested in my life, I've never been in trouble. I've never taken.
Okay, I want to take this time to let people know, see what has a wrench in my chat. So if there are any of you people that are blocked in her chat and you would like her to unblock you, she'll be able to find your profiles really well, really easily now. So uh, if anybody wants to get unblocked in Siwa's chat, please speak up so she can see you and then she can go straight to your page. It'll be super easy right now. Super easy. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, so yes, anybody blocked by Siwa in her chat, let her know in here. She, it'll be easy to fix it if she wants to. Hopefully she does. Anything from past the tide and all. And to have to hear this shit every single season. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. And I'm not, and I'm going to keep blocking every single person who keeps harassing me. It's not fair and it's not right. And I used to be quiet about it. And I'm not putting up with it anymore. Can you answer, can you answer a question? Why, yes. Why are all the rumors? circulating like that. Lainey's not blocked? Are you sure? You, about Muhammad, about you trying to uh, sleep with Muhammad, trying to steal Muhammad. Why, why was that circulating? Oh, look at Redbirds is another one. Because we were friends until he came here. When he came here, she asked me if, Danielle asked me if I knew, first she told me he was in Miami and I said. Or do you mean you just blocked, unblocked her? Oh, my neighbor just came home. You guys, I don't know. There's some position. Maybe it's the pillow I'm putting behind my back. I don't know. Things are not feeling right. Anyway, I'm going to crack my neck. I had no idea because we, me and Muhammad talked on Facebook like little, like nothing. And then I said, no, I assumed that he came with his girl, that, that friend that he used to have, Luisa. And then she said... <laughs> Do you know where he's at? And I said, no, I don't know. He's never, he hasn't messaged me or anything. So I have no idea. I didn't know he was even coming to Miami. And then she said, I'm going to Miami. Let's make plans. And she, all this is written. Let's make plans um, to go to lunch with your husband. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. If she can, look at, oh, That's Sandy, go fast. away. If she can um, stay at my place. I said, no, I have three bedrooms and two children. I don't have a spare guest room. And I. What? So did she have her kids let her. Huh? Did she, her kids live with her back then? No, I'm not going to ask my husband anyways. So I said, no, I don't have enough room. And then because just because I said no, she assumed that I was hiding him in my house. Mm. I'm not going to hide anybody in my house. Nobody's coming to my house. Just because somebody says no. And then she turned on me because I said that. And she started spreading the rumor, and the rumors that uh, that I was having an affair with Muhammad. I even had one person message me, some guy in Canada or something I found out after, um, messaged me that he was coming to my house and he was going to slit my throat and watch me bleed to, to death in the front door of my house. What? Who said that? Do you still have that screenshot? Of course I do. Well, I was going to say, you can't say you don't have that one. That's like the. Okay. I never deleted it. And I, so, and I so turned have, it into the police. You have all these screenshots of, of Danielle mm -mm -mm. offering a double date with you in Miami. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. do. So, and so another thing is, another thing is, I'm going to let you know is that um, the only reason they really turned on me bad was because when she moved out, when when um, when Muhammad moved out, she um, he cut her cable. The cable was in his name. He took his name off of it, and it cut her cable. Beth reconnected the cable without his permission. Her son made a good impersonation of Muhammad, the way he he sounds like him, and reconnected it. Beak. Oh, see what that's that's sad. That really sucks. I know because I'm still limited. I haven't gotten mine yet, guys. I'm gonna have to wait till after my birthday because things have just been too hectic and I don't want to jump into it. And the one I already looked at, I don't like. So, um, anyway, she was stupid feels. enough to tell me we'll be in the vortex in no time. I told Muhammad. 
And he called the cable company and had it disconnected again because of that gesture of trying to be a decent person. Because Beth said, oh, this is so funny. Um, by the time he finds out, um, he'll be in Tunisia because he's going to be he's going to be deep. Do you know what the you know what the common thing is? You guys, this is just so much talk about this person, that person, blah, 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 blah. Do you know what the common thing is? is she's got drama with everybody. Can you imagine having this much to, I don't know. It's an awful lot. She has got issues with, so do you know, I think Maria probably has more personal, more issues with people than anybody else on the internet. You know what I mean? Cause okay. So there's regular content creators. So we know that all of us end up fighting at some point in time. Right. So I'm not trying to put us above her in that set. But think about all of the people that Maria jumps in their DMs. Like if anybody in here was in here and said something that she felt was maybe even remotely questionable, she's jumping in their DMs and she is going to question them to no end. You know what I mean? So she ends up getting, it's more than just these scuffles with creators. It's also just look at Virgie, Virgie, perfect example. I hate to keep using Virgie. I'm sorry, Virgie, to use you as an example. But Vir Virgie is a perfect example of it. If you don't play nice with her and you say something that she doesn't like, even, even a little tiny bit. And uh, she will lie and say in your DM. Yeah, exactly. Because Maria doesn't have any boundaries. She can't just ever let anything sit. I don't understand that. He doesn't need the credit. What kind of a person does that shit? So, so you're saying that um, Danielle's or best son? Which one? Best son. So, best son impersonated, impersonated. Uh, Mah no, but the problem is, is that, and here's the thing, you guys know, and I'm not trying to say I didn't do anything or anything to remotely because I do take. Perfect. I know because Virgie and I, we we kind of had butted heads for a while, but she knows that I'm not upset with her. She's welcome to come in here anytime she wants, but I don't want to make her feel uncomfortable with it or anything like that. Um, but the difference is, is all of the additional people. She fights with everybody. If you don't agree with her in your side, it would be like me jumping into DMs with Gamecock Jenny and this person and that person and blah, 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 blah. Right. Exactly. Who threatened, well, not threaten Virgie so much, treated. It was the way she was treated. Um, they she she treated her like shit. She treated her like shit. Virgie was very, very kind to her, and she um she treated her like crap openly. She called her out openly, treated her like she was two years old, right out in front street with absolutely zero respect. You know what I mean? So um, it is what it is. They um and she's been doing this forever. Can you imagine how stressful your life would be if you jumped in and had a fight with her? Yeah, she's still around and she still doesn't like people. Um, but it's it's got to be exhausting. Yeah, thank you, Tracy. But like I said, I don't think they're genuine. I think somebody I think somebody bought them. I don't know if somebody bought them to be nice to me or bought them to be mean to me. So, but, so it is what it is. It's not very exciting. You know what I mean? I was close. I was very close on my own. So here's the deal. When I get another 70 subscribers, then I'll sub celebrate because that's what I was down. I was down 70. So when I organically get those, then I'll feel a little happier. You know what I mean? And reconnected the, um, and after that, and after that, I was labeled the stalker because that's what those two wanted people to believe. And it's made my life a living hell. No, and that's the difference. So people should be able to have disagreements with people without it going on front street like that. You know what I'm saying? Like for her to just be harassing her is just... But she does it. It's not just Virgie. It's everybody. It is absolutely everybody. If you are somebody that she um, can get into your DMs and she feels that you've said something and she needs to set you straight, she's going to run straight in there. And that, in my opinion, that's like the perfect example of attacking subs. And then this, this crazy person, Amanda, grabbed onto that shit. 
and has has dragged it on like if I'm we're harassing Amanda. I can you can talk to ten people who are gonna tell you that's not true. Okay? It's not true. Okay, what about person number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15? What are they gonna say? You should be able to block people on IG and not have to worry about getting stopped um, by them. It's, it's just not right. Okay. Um, so ever since, ever since the incident with Danielle and Muhammad, what, what's gone on in your life? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't talk to Muhammad. I, I, he, I follow him. We don't message back and forth. No, not like that. Not to that degree. And there was, here's the thing is, is the argument, just like my disagreement with Virgie was nothing that needed to be on front street like that. Um, it, it, it really wasn't. And that is how it, I mean, Maria had no problem jumping in her DMs for other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, uh oh, edibles on board. It, it's just, it, she literally would like cause fights in chats. And then she, if she wasn't doing, she'd let Lindsay do it. Cause Lindsay, for some reason, I don't know what Virgie did to Lindsay, but Lindsay just was always really against her. She kept talking smack to me during my lives. Even after I walked away from her, she kept threatening me in my DMs to dox me until I finally blocked her. Yeah. It, it, she doesn't, and Maria, you know you've done this to several people. This is not just a handful. This is more than that. We weren't buddies. It was in her head. She thought that, look, Maria is obsessed with Amanda. That must be an Amanda account. Look at <laughs> She's in the chat. Who would be obsessed with Amanda? By the way, Amanda, you're, you're um, see. Who would be obsessed with Amanda? Well, I just talk about Amanda again. They're fake. Uh, as, they're as fake as you are. Now tell me this. Can you imagine going on a live and having a seizure every three or four minutes? Would you go on a live uh, every single time if you were having seizures? Uh, you, you wouldn't do it. Look, look, Marie, you can't assume that. You no, assume I'm, that. A, I'm not really assuming it. Like I'm not. Yes, you are. No, trust me. There's nobody that's going to do it. She couldn't say three or we can all assume that they could possibly be fake. I think every single one of us has thought some of those have been fake, but we cannot sit there and say for a fact that is an assumption that is not fact. Nobody, nobody knows anybody else's life unless you're right there. Or words and she would drop in a seizure with the lights off and make this weird noise. And then come on. I never made fun of her. I even called 911. But this is bullshit. Okay? This is bullshit. She's playing this card and playing everybody for it. Okay? And then she writes there, oh, you're jealous. Jealous of what? Jealous of what? You tell me. Jealous of what? Then she tells you that I called TPS. Look at, I feel like I need to say this every time. Yes, they're discussing, they're talking about prayer jar. I don't even know where she lives. Are I the people new to this? Don't care where she lives. I don't want to see any kid hurt or anything, but I'm not going to. It's funny that she says things like, I don't care about this. But yet she, when she was mad at me, Joel's, your parents, your parents picture is circulating. Yeah, that's what she was saying when my mother was not at her best. It's just it, it, that, that's this one. In the world, it's freaking IG. Oh. Okay. Why so would I call? Let her family stuff. worry about her. So if you if you don't know where where she lives, how did you call nine one one and then report that? I called nine one one while I was on the live with her. I told them her IG name. They were watching her on IG have this seizure with the lights off, and they said they couldn't do anything about it. They can't trace it on Instagram. If it was Facebook, they could have traced it. Really? If it's Instagram, they can't. That's interesting. I wonder how they do it with Facebook. Okay. That's the only time I called 911. And then I told her after, I said, we tried calling 911. They didn't, they couldn't do anything for you. And you shouldn't be living. Oh, look at SoFlo probably in one of his, his socks. You shouldn't be there alone by this time. 
we we still didn't know we still didn't know whether it was fake or not it's just not real i don't care what anybody says it's not real so we decided to block her what's so bad about that we didn't go over there and say oh you're lying it's fake so what about what about claudia so you and claudia are friends right yes she's the one that amanda warned me about okay, um so don't talk to claudia don't when we were the four of us in a group don't talk to her he's a child so the person that comes in here oh hey mtt maybe you should put your name as amanda not <laughs> day i was being like i don't know i just saw the name there and i messaged her we started talking i'm like this woman is really nice so then i said amanda I didn't want to hide it from her. I said, I can be friends with two people. I, I messaged Claudia. She seems really nice. We're talking back and forth. No sooner than I did that and that fake profile came and started messaging the four people online and saying, oh my God, Amanda, you're such a, uh, a bad person. You're a bad friend. I saw that you you messaged, you, you were writing comments on Lotus, Lotus, which is Claudia, on her account how dare you like you're not a good friend and then it started saying amanda's seizures aren't real amanda i'm gonna i hope she dies of a seizure i hope she falls on her son who would write something like that maybe a person that would post a three-year-old just a hunch i wouldn't wish death on my worst enemy um yeah but you wish them to die alone I've seen some of the messages you wrote. They're pretty fucked up, but like, you know, it's just two like, fake profiles. No. Do you see that? Do you see that? He's like, I've seen what you said, and uh, it's pretty fucked up to fake profiles. So, wait, you just say some really fucked up shit to people you think that are fake? To Amanda, to fake every single time I was on IG, I would get, look at that. Claudia is a nasty C. That's Amanda. Every see, <laughs> see, look at everybody in the chat. That's Amanda single time I was on IG, you should see my block list. No, I can't, and I then, can't, I can't see, don't go ahead. like I said, the chat is, I can't see it. I block. never, listen, I never ever unblocked Amanda's account. Once I blocked Amanda's account, every single well, account, Maria, how, every like, single fake account came sound, out. You're making it sound like, like every other account that's chatting, which I can't see by the way, is Amanda. How could that be possible? <laughs> I'm not saying every other account. I'm saying she created so many accounts. When I would block one, the next one would come. And when you saw that note, that that um, message that I wrote, I wrote it to one of those fake accounts, the, to that same fake account who threatened to um, post my address, to post my thing, they they to post my job. They said, "Oh, um, it's time to call your job again." It's they did call the job twice. They called my daughter's job once. So and yeah, I'm not going to be nice to that. So three years ago, she had people calling jobs. And that wasn't John. It wasn't anything. She had Yahoo and his people after her. This was a job before because of an, an issue online? I Here we go. <clears throat> He said, didn't you lose a job before because of an issue online? Claudia, who was wrote me first to beg for help to fight back and ask me to help. Wow. I lost my job because Danielle posted my job on her stupid Facebook group with my phone number of the company. The phone number that she had because we were friends. Okay? And everybody called the job. Isn't it funny? So she supposedly lost a job three years ago or however many years ago because of somebody she was friends with online. Do you see what the common denominator here? The common denominator is her. This doesn't happen to a bunch of other people. Right? And can you imagine still standing firm on what you're doing on the internet after you've lost two jobs because of them, supposedly. From what she says. 
I don't know. This was three years ago, this interview. So I don't know how long ago. I don't know if John's still listening in the bushes, if he remembers when the Danielle stuff was, but. <coughs> Every single body, okay? And trust me, she, the, on, not, the only person who had that number was Danielle. So you you are claiming that you never had inappropriate conversations with Muhammad, ever. Absolutely never. So when did she lose a job supposedly because of them? When I modded for TL, Amanda disappeared once Maria came into TL's live. Amanda was very close to them, then just disappeared. Momo turned Yahoo boy into his board over this stuff. He verified it through FOIA. You know whose name was on it. Well, no, and I called there as well. But my thing, my my call to there was to make sure that he wasn't using that, whatever, wasn't able to use that, you know, to whatever. And she said no. And uh, she's just like, yeah, she goes, but here's the thing. She goes, he might do stuff because, of course, I couldn't stand him at the time. And she's like, but there's people that are doing really horrible things, you know, posting his family. I said, oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I said, and I'm not her. I'm not her. And I assure you, I'm not doing that because we all thought that was disgusting. Danielle started stuff started in 2014, 10 years. He's exactly the same age as my son. Exact same age as my son. I've been married for 35 years. Danielle thinks he was a gem. Like she thought he was the king of whatever. Like every woman was after my mommy. Have you seen him? I mean, personally, I, I don't think he's a handsome looking guy, but that's my opinion, you know? Um, so... It was as it was as soon as Danielle was on the show because I came around 2015 and the defendant was already a giant issue. Imagine that. News to me, she lost a job back then. She always said she worked at the same place. That's what I thought too. I thought that she'd worked there for years and she was a prized employee and whatnot. I'm just saying. Did you ever meet him person? I met him when he came to Miami when I saw Danielle, the day I met both of them. And I was contacted by TLC and I said, I want to take my husband there and show everybody that I'm married because the harassment was incredible. Do you hear this? The harassment was incredible. Who is the common denominator here? This was years and years ago. 10 years ago, who is the common denominator? You know, who wasn't having all of these weird fights back then? Me. Normal people don't do that, don't keep fighting. Can you imagine for 10 years to keep fighting like she's fought? This is 10 years of this stuff. We're already sick of it on our side. And what did she do? She ran like a crazy woman down Miami Beach at 1030 at night on a Tuesday night, screaming at the top of her lungs of her lungs within an apartment thing because she saw Maria Vega there. Well, then she shouldn't have, have put on her group that I was having an affair and, and causing all that oh, shit. Wait, where me. is she? Oh, look She's going to do that and lie to her followers. I'm going to show her my husband. So and that's time. why she hates me because I don't back out, man. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm not going to back out. If you're going to lie about me, I'm not backing out. Every time Beth says that, I'm on, that I take Xanax or whatever, prove it. Yeah, I don't believe that she does because she's never calm. I don't sense a chill, so there's that. <laughs> prove it. If she says I drink, prove it. I don't have a record. I've never been arrested. She can't say the same shit. She's been arrested twice for the or fired twice for drugs. The only reason I posted her her nursing license, which I didn't know even it was given to me. I wouldn't know how to find it was because she lost her license two years before she even the show even aired. And then she went on there saying that um, she lost her nursing job because I because I had reported her to her job. She had no job. I was I didn't report her to anything because she had no job. I'm not gonna put up with people lying. 
everything I I say I have with proof. I'm not gonna lie. So you so, have, but you I'm have sure. screenshots of all this, and you're gonna send it to me. Yes, I don't care. I you. I even have a voice message. You want to post a whole message? Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'm not I'll lying. Post it. I don't care. You just send it to me. Yeah. yeah. Ooh we. Ooh we. You know what's really funny is you guys. I'm getting messages of something, and I. You know how I so don't like to do behind the scenes shit, and I don't like. But you guys, I think that there might be, I don't know. I don't even, I, cause I have, I'm going to have to consult with people because there's people wagering something. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it too much, but you see, I, I hate to keep anything in whatever. I'll, send it I'll let you. you guys know as soon as I come to a decision yeah. what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's on my Facebook. I can get it. Say on the on a voice message of Muhammad saying that he, um, that Danielle and Beth did that shit. What? And she, that, that they um just they connected the cable without his permission. And I had posted that shit one time, and she said that Beth said it was spliced. There's not one, nothing. That shit's not spliced. There's no stopping of the beat or anything. It's continuous talking. Okay. But I'm tired of this shit. You shouldn't post things about people. You shouldn't make. You know, I even heard that you're doxing people. Like, if they're followers of John Yates, you know? Did you hear that? I know. Why would you even do that? I just don't understand. Like, you're married. You have a daughter. Why would you do that to other people? Doxing like, this who? is IG. Doxing who? You're, you're, I've, I've seen pictures. You put shit in your, in your, in your stories of other women that are friends of John Yates or something. Like, it's huh? wrong. Um, that's reposting, but I take all the perks. Even if it's reposting, so it, because somebody posts, Elena, oh, give me a break. She's like the most hated cast member there is. So <laughs> <laughs> you heard it there as well. I believe John has said the same thing, word for word, verbatim. So there's that. You heard it there. Because she posts all that crap, you're gonna do that. Seriously, um, how would you I'm feel? Not, honestly, Maria, how how would you on. feel if you did Maria, that? Maria, stop, okay? Look, uh, let, let me tell you something. You you said you didn't want to go into John Yates right now, right? I'm not going into it. I'm well, saying that no, because I'm around. saying that John people Yates no. As fuck, okay. No, so, I'm not talking about him. I'm saying that well, you're posting on people him. following him. No, no don't post on follow followers. Him. Leave no, leave followers alone. The inner circle. Now, I mean, as much as I cannot stand Yahoo in this instant, he is kind of right because they, uh, he didn't, he wasn't really mentioning anything about John whatsoever. And then she brought it into it. So whatever. I don't agree with what he's about to say, but how dare you make us curious about a secret? I'm the type to tell. Well, I, it's, it's not really a secret secret yet. Believe me, as soon as I know, I know what to make of this message. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> I'm not, that's why I'm like, I almost feel like I need to have a meeting with other people. Like, what does this mean? You know what I'm saying? So like, don't, yeah, there's nothing to know yet, but you guys know I can't hold water. You, ten head. I know you are the one that always gets upset whenever I throw teasers out. <laughs> I like that in you. His little group of whatever hags you want to call, uh, they're, they're extremely toxic. Um, and they, so what? If they're toxic, why why do you bother with them? Why don't you just ignore let me, it? Let me hmm. imagine that. You finish, right? Um, yeah, ten heads always the one that checks me on that. Like, uh, 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 uh spill it, B. <laughs> and they doxed hundreds of people uh, and ruined people's lives. So, so it's okay for you to do it. I'm I'm not doing it. Am I doing it? You're just yeah, you're posting it. I repost it. I repost it. Sandy, you're like a hundred years old. So. It's the same difference. Post, repost, whatever. JJ hates that too. She's super curious. Didn't he just ask her that? This is this is all insanity. Up. Not everything. I, I reposted it. Well, let's just say that there's a lot of people that are getting sick and tired of the men's community. Cool. But look, um, 
a, a couple, a couple is a couple too much. You know, everybody knows your identity. Everybody knows your family. So you. Yes, you guys, I sense a revolt from the men's community is what I'm sensing. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am sensing a female revolt from the men's community and I'm all for it. I know that I, I, I'll just put this out here loud and whatever. I am not saying I'm going to get along with other people or whatnot, but I do agree that this, what is happening right now, it needs to stop. There needs to be two people that need to be exiled, two men especially that need to be exiled from the females community. We have all given them too much clout, myself included, uh, for far too long. So that is about it. So I believe that the female, I think it's getting close to even like the people who can't stand me and whatnot. I think everybody is getting sick of it. And I think they're about done with it. And I told you guys today, he, he named his stream after Savage. I can't stand her. You guys know that for real. But you know why he's doing it. He's looking for the clicks and the views from our community. And that, it, he's one, Terry Time, where are you? What do we label him? I mean, no, Mob Feeders doesn't even label it. I mean, they're like really, really low in the tank. Um. But that's what he's doing. He was, and now he wants to tell Savage who or who she can and cannot associate with. And I don't believe that any of us should have some men, some elderly men telling us what we need to do and whom we need to follow. And um, I mean, if there can be some type of an organization to, to stress that and make a stand, I don't know. But, uh, but I agree. I agree. Um, there are two men from that community that need to be exiled. Their stay is they they overstayed their welcome. I'm right here. Anyway. I cry like all oh, the dots in me when people do it to you. Do you would you um, do you really want to give your wife look, that headache? Maria, Maria, it's not look, worth it. Maria. You some some people uh need a little bit of little bit of a punch in the gut. All right. I'll be honest with you. To to have and is she still in there, JJ? And, you're, and are you going to do that? Human again, all right. And you know, Viagra um, too. I don't know what these people thought they were doing by engaging in in this activity and literally ruining people's lives and having targeted harassment um, on you know on their families. It's terrible. Now, a little so I think you guys, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to let the message that I got resonate. Um, and so I don't know. It, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tall ticket to get. But I think if all of us just stand firm on the fact that um, we're not gonna be bossed around and we're not gonna be told what we have to do, because that is what he did today. He put Savage's name in it, and I heard him saying, "Well, Savage, how do you feel about?" Blah, 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 Nobody cares. Nobody cares. In fact, the way that they're carrying on, it's making people want to fuck with MRE. You know what I mean? You guys, are you guys getting, I mean, no, mind you, I, I, I have no reason to even mess over there. You know what I mean? I don't think he likes me. He fucks with the corn, but I am not going to sit there and do whatever it is they want to be done. It's crazy. It's like they want to execute people from the internet. It's insanity. Who the heck do they think telling us females what to do? I know it's ridiculous. And, and I do believe it is time to, uh, to, to fight back and be like, fuck you. We don't care. And that's why, and that is why I've gotten to the point where it's just like, dude, I don't care. He's like, oh, you think Bambi was bad. You think Bambi was bad. Well, just keep talking that kind of smack on the internet. Especially when you have people like Jen and the fish with you that do, in fact, call the FBI. Because you want to know some fun facts, so Flo, I was friends with fish, too. Mm hmm I was. So, they turn on everybody. I went to MRE's chat a week ago and said, hello, I won't be told who I can talk to. No, I don't believe anybody in the female community should be told what to do. It's ridiculous. He is not... I'm not familiar with mob tube females. 
Oh, Fish isn't a mob two female. Well, he might as well be. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just, I'm the kind of person when somebody tells me what I can't do, I'm going to do it. But after him and his unrepented sex trafficker, you are an un unrepented woman abuser. You hit a woman and beat her with a pool stick and you said you'd do it again. That's unrepented to me. So, and I'm not talking anything. I didn't say anything. I'm not accusing you of anything you did not do. You on the other hand are. And it's stupid. And if you here, okay, here's the other deal. See, oh, well, you know, and do it right in front of, of them. I'm petty like that. Hey, Amber, how are you? Um, Because we've had enough. You can have butterfly kisses. You can have Debbie loves a whatever. Supposedly her brother. No, I'm referencing what you alluded to earlier. Unfortunately, I'm familiar with Stank. Oh, no, I'm talking about the fact that there is there is some a little bit of rumble of people wanting to somehow uh, realize that there is a bigger issue uh, in the female community than us at the moment. And I agree. It is also because you know what else is dangerous? It's dangerous for the person in Florida to be putting that nutcase on his panel and spewing untruths and lies. That's bad. Everything that comes, hey, Thistle, everything that comes out of that woman's mouth is fucking slander. And Fish is going to vouch for everything she does when he lives in another country. Jules, let me know I'm in. Okay, well, so if anybody watching in the bushes, I'm not going to check my messages. I don't, I'm not exactly sure who's messaging me about it. Asking if I would be in for a, uh, some type of, uh, you know, putting everything down for a minute to get rid of the real problem at hand. But see, here's where the problem is also going to lie though. Like, okay, people like Stone Sailor, they're still going to let Stone Sailor in. Stone Sailor is thick as thieves with that, those people. So I don't know how that kind of shit will work. Now, mind you, I, I hate when I say that twice. You guys, I annoy myself sometimes. Um, I know it's none of our business, but it's just like, I don't know. It sounds scandalous. I've never liked them. I've never gave a like. I've never given two or three views. Well, a lot. What happens is, is people hate watch. And you know what? Here's the difference is when uh, when when Harry did his hate stream on on uh, Maria, it was a flop. Barely anybody even watched that shit. Uh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, but this sounds like it'll end badly at past the time. Well, I don't. I'm hopefully not taking this as a ceasefire because a ceasefire will never work. Just like I said, what flip the table. If you sit there and say, oh, we're all going to kumbaya, that's not going to work. What it has to be is we're all going to have to just just come to the realization, you know, we're all going to have to agree that this is a big no and ice him out. And but we've got to figure out a certain way. So but I do know that there are several females in the female community that are interested in ones that even hate me because you know what? Who they hate even more is um, a man that has told everybody that he's invaded our community. You guys, that was like creeper. When he told that to John, that, that was like creeper, like stranger danger. Ew. I don't want them to use Jules to be the head of battling. Well, I'm not going to know. It's not a battle. It is not a battle. It is not a battle of the, to men. It is, it is I think, going to be some type of an ice out situation. I don't know. But it was just like, um, I don't know. But I do know that I can't stand them in more than uh, the females. At this moment, I feel that that is where the most threat is. Because they have absolutely no limits. We know the next person that doesn't have limits. Um, but I think that's the worst. We can all just stay. It doesn't mean joining forces. No, I don't want to join forces because that won't work. Joining the forces will never work because it never does. We can, just like you say, it always ends badly. It always ends very badly. But um if maybe, maybe like the, maybe the creators, the female creators all kind of make a stance and like, Hey, we're done with it because I am sick and tired of having 
some men tell us what to do and what we should think. And then we have somebody that was completely exonerating me and now saying that I'm unrepented and whatnot. Complete. He's an idiot. And you know why he's probably an idiot? He's probably listening to the fish and he's probably listening to Jen. You can't negotiate with a lion when your head is in its mouth. <laughs> Ex Ooh, that's good. But um, I don't know. So I'm not sure exactly how you guys, I'm not even going to get even more into it. But since nobody gets, everybody gets, that's as much as I know. Whatever I told you is as much as I know. So we'll wait to see what else comes of it. But it is true, guys. We have to be, do we really want these stinky men in our shit? I never wanted them in our shit that was, that's probably why he got, re, got rid of me is because I didn't want to mix it up like this. I Now, did I make that comment like, oh, star, see what, what if we do travel by Tony? You know, he wasn't going to do that. He had no interest in any of the females in our community. He made that very clear. And when I said those things, it was to be an asshole just to piss you guys off. I assure you a million percent, he had never had any intentions of doing that. That's why you don't place your comfort in the hands of a strange man. I agree. I agree. But I mean, if there is a way for us females to agree, to disagree completely, but agree on the fact that, that we don't need this added shit. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know if it can be done. I'm not good at heading any of this shit up because I'm just not, but you can keep contacting me and let me know. Um, and then I'll let you guys know what's going on. Yep. Hey, ho, George and Harold need to go. That's you guys, because the way he said that to John, he's like, oh, whether you like it or not, I'm in your community. That is creeper shit. We don't want you in there. Some of us can coexist and never speak. That is the truth. That is the truth. And that is what I wanted, though, with the, the flip the table. And everybody was thinking it was kumbaya, but I knew that kumbaya is completely unrealistic. There is no way in hell all of us are ever going to agree on one thing. And we're never going to like each other. And to pretend that we are, it's just unrealistic. It needs to just happen how it happens. Uh, but I do think that we can all agree that that's enough. Just like as much as I can't stand HB, I don't think it's cool to have the other community. I may have laughed at a couple jokes. I'm not going to lie. But I don't think it's cool to have some men all of a sudden coming into our community and acting like they know the whole history of us. Which, according to Fish, there's five years of history, which, yeah, no. Um, but that is what they're doing. They're coming in and saying, oh, this, 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 Jen is the queen. Jen is the queen and Jen tells the truth. Anyway, let's finish this up. Of a punch bag? You're saying that's bad? Um, I'm not targeting, harassing anybody, and you okay, threw quite a punch at me. Every everybody that's been that's been doxxed by John Yates and his group have been harassed. They've been they've been threatened with CPS. They've had CPS called on them. They've had. Who are these people? They keep saying that. They call it men's community, but I'm seeing very few men. Ooh, ooh, good one, Johnny Mac. No, and I, we're done with it. Look at bitch, you don't know my shadow. Oh, shut up. Police called on them. They've I had, don't care. Had, I'm not. Hold that, on. I'm not. Maria, stop interjecting. I'm trying to finish here. Had, I'm first, not Yates. Oh, I'm Maria. I'm not Yates. Okay, I'm Maria. You, you, you were. You, you, yeah, but wasn't that because like Home Depot Jen, wasn't it because of her? And I mean, she's been arrested and who wandered into that realm. So that's why we're getting into gates now. So you want you want to get, get out of I'm not talking the realm. about him. I told you that. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. So no, these these aren't followers. These are people, these are enablers. You know, and, and you know, if I if I post a repost a couple. Um, look, they're, they've, they've enabled and Sorry. allowed this stuff to go on and allowed uh, people to get plastered, uh, their whole families, their information plastered to 60, 70,000 people.
Well, no, that's exactly it, Star. Remember when they did come over? It was Code and it was Johnny Mac and everything was fine. And it was a little bit of the creepy mesh panty boy, but we saw through him. Uh, and it wasn't all of this. We didn't have to fight your wars. You know, and that's what that's what the med, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to turn us into their soldiers. Hey, Geneva. Over the course of years, okay. Oh, um, and you're gone here to save Yates, or are you here just because if you knock one blogger out, you're you have more people to follow you? Why don't you just get your own followers? Like, why do you have to knock uh, a blogger down? Maria, I'm not. I'm not knocking another blogger down. Like, who cares if? Make yourself look better. If you, if somebody, if somebody's doxing, a blogger is doxing, and you think he's blog uh, doxing, Maria, why do you like have me. to do it too? Wow! Listen to the, listen to all of the smarts coming out of her. You do realize that this came about because of the whole Devin thing. Well, first I went against the tide with the Larissa thing. Uh, that that kind of led to some issues, and then the Devin thing led to some a whole other set of issues. And um, I guess, I don't know what John was thinking, but he felt, uh, he must have felt uh, backed into a wall and decided, okay, let's go ahead and post this guy's shit on, online. So all my followers. I don't care about John. I'm, I'm me. You, you came after me. You came after um, me. Again, Maria, can I, do I have to repeat this? I saw no, you. No, this conversation is not about him. It's about me. Okay. You were just talking about John Yates. What you I mean, that is the truth. You did bring him up. Issue, drop Larissa or Devin, or you can't be our friends, basically. And his followers. I'm not talking about him. I told you that already. Yes, John was made to denounce, uh, denounce, definitely denounce Larissa. I remember that hard. I'm not talking about him. I don't care about did, him. Did I, did I, I care you? about did why you would go after right. me. Maria, Maria, did I dox you? No, you didn't. You made a whole bunch of nasty memes about me, and you said it, you wrote a whole bunch of nasty shit on it. I didn't. But that was my followers. Whoever did it, you posted it. Uh, you do. You do realize that I. <laughs> that, um, okay, so when I posted that, I had literally hundreds that I had to sort through because a lot of people know about you. I don't care. Like, if a million people know about me, I'm not going away. I'm going to defend myself every single time. Well, if that's not the truth, we have seen that. We have definitely seen that. If you say something about me, like your first. You guys, it's 71 degrees outside. Thing that you said there that they told me don't go on is you're like, she brought somebody to the, to, um, look at this. This is the guy, Lack, whatever it is. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's about to talk about Lewis. Lacey. Lacey, if you will. L-A-C-O-A-J. That he, why, why writes on, so he writes on a comment. Oh, are you the one that pays for sex? Because you said it. Like, your stupidity. <laughs> Lacey said that Momo's the one that pays for sex? What? Say it isn't so. Not this stupid guy who has no mentality to think that I... I pay cast members for sex because of something that you write that's so irresponsible. Okay? Uh, that's not okay, right. Okay, so according to that, um, that was coming from somebody with close ties to TLC. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say names. But of yeah. course it was coming from somebody with close ties. That's what you're gonna say. Show me proof. Show me something. You just can't go around ruining people's lives because you got idiots like this guy who believe everything that you say and then he'll come after me. He sees me commenting on, on Sherelle's post or something and then says, so why, oh, why you you're the one that pays for sex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, Joel, that's when Lacey thought he was hot shit because he was Lita's panel. Yeah, I remember that. This is funny. <laughs> She was kind of, he was commenting on Sherelle saying that Maria pays for sex. I never said that, Maria. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on.
Okay, sorry guys. Thank you the, on in messages was when you said forward this message and I didn't and you called me a, the C word. You don't even know me. Why would you call me the C word? Are you okay with a man let's, calling let's, your wife let's, that? Let's do this. Let, let's agree to something here. Let's um, let's continue chatting. I want to see every, all the proof that you have about Danielle, about the, the you hear her breathing in the mic. voice message. Everything that you have, I want you to send to me. Okay. And I I'll I send it to you. you. I'll, I'll, I'll post this stuff. So everybody could I want it. you to post it. I want she's talking to Yahoo Boy. I want people to stop thinking that I'm harassing her. She's been blocked for years. I couldn't give a crap. You only block on like one account and then you watch on the other. That's what you always say. I have I mean, come on. Anybody with common sense is Danielle a Kardashian or something? Who would who would um no that, stop Danielle, Danielle for Danielle, years? Danielle is the OG queen of 90 day fiance though. I don't know one person that would stalk her. I don't know one person that would stalk Danielle. I just don't you. know it. Like it does you. That's who doesn't exist. If anybody with common sense would say why? Why would somebody Yes, that's Yahoo talking to her. Stalk her. Like what what exactly is there to stalk? Like really, what is there to stalk? Nobody ever thinks of that. They're like Oh, Danielle said she's her stalker, and she she loves the attention. She's like, she, I'm with, this is, um, I'm not gonna read the comments because she loves the attention because some because you guys are paying attention to her. Oh, isn't it funny? Doesn't she say that about everybody? Like, oh, you guys are paying attention, and that's why da da da. da. You say the same thing to everybody. Uh, my stalker from it is. This is from three years ago. Florida. Oh, thinking, what okay. stalker, Danielle? What stalker? There is no stalker in Florida. There's no stalker in any state in the United States of America. The only stalker she's getting are the ones from foreign countries who want a green card. Nobody cares. But I'm damn sure. Not. It's it's crazy though that, and that's why we're listening to this. When I listen to it, I'm like, holy shit, this is so fucking similar. Just change the names. That's all you have to do. Same script, different cast. And allow her to keep saying that I'm her stalker. When when I have all the proof in the world, I That's have her cool. messages. I have her phone messages. She yeah. had my number. I had hers. That's after not. That, you don't. Mm -hmm. I, Go ahead. That, after that incident in Miami, you had her blocked, or did, did, did she still try to contact you, or what happened after that? After that incident in Miami, she flew back like within two days to Ohio. I was at work. She sent me, she had my phone number. This is how backwards wherever she lives is. She has, I. Oops. Oh, don't tell me I did it again. Stop. What's going on? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Here we go. And I replied to her, you contact my fat, you harass my family. And I'm going to post your messages. She went with that reply back, just that reply. She walked into the Ohio police station and said that I was stalking her and they just filled out a report. And you know what they do in Ohio when you fill out a report? They post it online. So they posted my name and my phone number. Do they do that when Jen posts? online and then she went and grabbed that report and posted in her facebook group and see see maria's a stalker i put i made a report on her i spent two days talking to the police in ohio to have that shit reversed i sent them a copy of the text it was one text she sent me one message and i replied one time that's not stalking when somebody sends you a message you reply Okay, and then because my my thing was already there in the in the online, they put an amendment and they put Maria says she only replied once and showed evidence or some shit like that. But what does Danielle do? She got the police report, the first page, not the amendment, and then she hands it to Leda. Leda. Hey, look, be careful with Maria. And then every season she sends, she calls every, she messages every single cast member and says, Maria's a stalker, be careful with Maria. If you look at the cast members, when I have a Facebook group. I did it again, damn it.
Hold on. Where was that? I keep clicking in the wrong spot. If you look at the cast members, when I have a Facebook group, if you see the cast members on uh, here on Instagram, I reply on the ones that I like and I say, oh, cute picture, nice picture, congratulations. I don't like Ed. I don't comment on Ed's posts. That's not a stalker. Leaving a, a comment saying that you look pretty, that you look nice, that I like your dress, that I like you. That's not stalking. Wait, hold on. Like you were stalking me, Maria, because I called you for trolling on a post with your lies. How would I stalk you, guy? Like seriously, like you're the one that told that was that was saying that I paid for sex. You're such, you're even crazier if you even believe shit like that. This is that guy. This is what I'm telling Lacey, you people. It's Lacey. He's in the chat over there. I guess. Oh, like that. You write something on your. Because you're a, a blogger, you write something, and they believe God wrote it, and it has to be true if you wrote it, okay? So please think about it before you write something like right, that. Look, look Maria, um, I want I want you to start sending me everything tonight, okay? That you have, and I and I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start posting online. Is that fair? Yeah, please post post away, post everything. Why does Maria get involved with these cast members? I'm not getting involved with it. It and was Danielle. Why are you just, get involved with just, everything? Uh, just like, let's not forget, I was the, calling out Cooch because Cooch has been a pain in my ass for a minute. And then everybody jumps in. You see what I'm saying? And first one that jumped in was this one. That season, it was Danielle and Muhammad. I talked to. Hey, Casey, long time no see. How are you, my friends? Danielle. Yeah, but I after think that I. Season. No. So you didn't I mean, any other cast members? I, no, I talk. Yeah, I have cast members in my Facebook group that, that write comments and leave messages and send me messages. I've yeah, talked to John. John who? I've talked to Evelyn. John Walters, is it? Evelyn. So look at you're kind of like a, a groupie. Um, late, not later. Um, Larissa, I've talked to Paul. I've talked to Green. I've talked to. They all, at one point or other, every single one has been in the group. I've had cast members in there from season one, and they've been in there because nobody gets harassed. If somebody harasses one of the cast members, they tell me, delete that comment, delete that post. I don't want that post there. I take it away. I delete it. <laughs> What's the big deal? That's not stalking. I don't go, oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, can I be your bestie? Can I have your phone number? <laughs> They're in the group and they do whatever they want. And if something bothers them, I delete it. <clears throat> okay. So you're a moderator. And you're <laughs> yeah, I'm an yeah, administrator in the group. It's my group. I see. Hold on. Did you have any plans on meeting up with any other male cast members? Did I what? Have any plans to meet breathing? up with any other male cast members or female cast members? Never. Never. There's even cast members living in Florida. I would never even say, hey, where do you live? Can we meet each other? No. Uh, wait, what was the breaking news? The breaking news was uh, was um, this. Lacey says that Maria pays for sex. <laughs> that was according to Lacey. I wouldn't have even I wouldn't have even met up with Danielle had she not even was the one who said, "Oh, let's go out to dinner or whatever." And then was the one who started saying the rumor that she's Almost in Miami there. because I'm hiding him in my house. That's the only reason I met up. Okay. Um it's getting um uh, i'm getting a bunch of messages here so let, let me get off this this live here but uh let let's continue this conversation outside of here i want you to send me everything that you just discussed with me and i'm gonna post okay i don't care okay oh i hope so deal it's a deal all right thanks maria thanks for having me on thank you right, take care bye Um, hey, Dan. Mm-hmm. Thank you for being a woman enough to come. 
Whitney, what's this about? I know he's leaving me for you. He said that he told you that is true. What is he telling you? Could it be the same thing that he told me? He told me that he loved me. He told me I was beautiful. How did you know? How did you know? Because I played that song. made that one that was back in like 2000 she's over there shaking and out of breath scared jules had power to make something happen what the fuck well first of all it is not me i am the not the one there are a lot of other people that have had it muzz go pay attention to your own what is wrong with her why is she so nosy 
She's always so nosy. Ugh. Anyway, okay, we're going to break out of, there is a two part of that. I don't know if we're going to do the two part today. Um, hold on a minute. What the fuck? Where is this shit? Oh, wait, here it is. So this is something, this is a little, this is a little controversial guys. And this is different. This is not our community. You know that I like to mix things up and do other things that are not all of our community because I get sick of it. But <clears throat> I told John about this yesterday. Um, I, um, I have been following Elisa Jordana. Is that how you say her last name? I've been following her for a minute. You guys, I'm fanning myself off because I was dancing around with that. Yeah, I looked and there's no other Whitney Houston song. So that has to be the one for my, uh, my friend made. Yes, we dated for a brief time. We're still friends. Um, well, not brief, like six, seven months, something like that. They kill me expecting people that don't like them to take up for them. I will never do that. Uh, I don't, I, I write. Well, she is having a ball over an FBS's thing. And you know what? I'm going to say this right now. FBS doesn't, isn't really on my radar like this. You know why? Because FBS doesn't want to fuck with us. He is, I'm going to, this is the, this is the, Biggest one right here. And I guarantee you, the people that follow FBS, they uh, they know I'm speaking the truth right now. FBS never wanted anything to do with our community's drama in the first place. So I guarantee you, he's fine. He's like, fine. The little bit of people that go, well, I shouldn't say the little, but whatever the handful of people, because um, I know like Beverly Martin, she likes to go over in FBS's chats here and there. He, that's fine. But guess what? Those people don't bring our drama to him because he doesn't want that shit. So anyway, so I'm not really talking about him so much. It is the gentlemen that feel that they are the end all be all of everything. And they can say how things go and who should talk to who and who should do this and who should do that. And the community, I am not saying any of us are going to agree on anything other than the fact that those motherfuckers need to go. It's ridiculous. She is invigorated in FBSs, and that's fine. Just don't bring our shit over there. You know what I mean? This is a terrible idea is her stream. Okay, well, the person that was messaging me, you know where Muzz stands on that then. No, no peace with Muzz. No peace with Muzz. So anyway, guys, here is my a little bit of other. Hold on. Let me find. Let me find it. So um, I was, okay, I follow a bunch of different Reddit pages because I was telling John this yesterday is that I follow like, I'm not even going to tell you the ones I follow, but they're just odd ones just to like draw my attention to different things that are going on, whatever. And I have fallen down a few rabbit holes because of those. Well, I already knew who this person was, um, but there was a video about it, and um, she had a video up. Anyway, so but what what the person said on Reddit, I'm like, wait a minute, I wa I've watched that person before, and I don't, I wonder if that's really what happened. So anyway, it's uh, Elisa Jord Jordana, whatever. And does anybody hear about her being in jail? I don't know if she's out yet, but she got arrested. This is, I was told I'm deflecting when I said something in Fuzz's stream, deflecting from what? We also know she was busted in, yep, exactly. She's called out. She's an idiot. She just... Muzz doesn't want any type of peace. I think she likes the fact that the men are in the community so she can kind of use them as a wedge. So anyway, did anybody hear about this, this situation? This was just a few days ago. I don't know. It was, it was all over the place. Hold on. Let me, um... Okay, so you follow. See, I haven't told anybody about this. So, but here's the deal. I don't understand. I don't know if he got arrested. I don't know how to find out his information. You guys, she got locked up. 
So this is, she is an IRL streamer and she's always streaming like her real life. So supposedly she had just found out that the guy that she's been seeing has been talking to some other girl and she's not happy. I'm going to skip around. She was supposedly in some band. Because if you go, why isn't this working? Damn it. I don't have a battery pack. Oh, I think it's her. Yeah, it's her, not me. I knew it. I like I knew it. I knew it. Like she's crying. I was just reading the text, and there was like a text. Wait, I want to read you this. I want to. I want to read you this one back. Okay, she said, "I have a lot to say, so I'm gonna say this, and you can read it or not." She said, "She she goes." She goes, you told me she was just some streamer. So he told this girl that he was seeing at the same time as me that I'm just some streamer. And like, he was lying like constantly to me. Oh, I know she used to, well, no, she didn't work for, she did not work for Howard Stern. She, um, I think she dated somebody who did is what it was said. And she says, I really hurt Barham. Oh wait, it says, wait a minute, but now they're saying, hold on a minute. Me. It sucked to hear her call uh, call you beautiful. So other people were saying that she was dating somebody, but it says former Howard Stern show writer, Elisa Jordan was arrested Monday after physically assaulting a man believed to be her boyfriend during a live stream. During the incident, which was shared on Jordana's uh, YouTube channel on Monday, she and fellow YouTuber, how do you even pronounce that name? Scoro or something? were riding in the car when she started punching him while confronting him about his alleged cheating. A woman named Sarah, who allegedly received thousands of dollars from Zorro, whatever, uh, then called into the live stream and former Cobra Starship musician. What is Cobra Starship? Hold on a minute. Cobra Starship. La, 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 la. Oh. La, 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 la. So she was in this band. La, 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 la. It's funny, I never knew who they were, but you know the song. So, okay, that is Cobra Starship. Is Cobra Star? Well, no. If you if you look her up, that's where she was. She uh, she was in that too. Oh, and it says it right here. Duh. Called into a live stream, and the former Cobra Starship musician threatened to leak her nudes and phone number online. So, um, as Zorro, I'm just going to call him that. Tried to because I don't even know how to say it. Tried to speak directly to Sarah. Jordana punched him in the arm and shoulder after he said, "Sarah, I'm sorry about this." She smacked him in the face with an open palm and told him, don't fucking talk. Just like that, almost broke my nose. And so anyway, that was the thing is she, she's really upset, but I got to show you the police part for it. So anyway, okay, she's talking to this person. Paul and babe, it sucked to see you cl clearly cared for her more than me. Like th she was seeing them, he was seeing us at the same time, like literally at the same no, time. No, I know, Teddy, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch the whole thing before and after. He, then like, he's like texting her like sex stuff, like all the, mushroom, all the blood rushed to my mushroom tip, uh, zero left for brain. Don't move ahead too fast, Teddy, we're getting there. Per we're usual, gonna watch the whole thing. I'm gonna buy you a burka. Just all the same shit that he was saying. So she has his phone and she's going through all of his messages and whatnot, right? So this is a two hour and 19 minute stream. So listen, here's a little bit. Of I got um, the truth, Heidi. Right, you, know, you, have the, you have all the evidence there. But um, so you try to figure where is it coming from? What's what's what's. Yeah. But it didn't feel right. There was like something that did not feel so right. So she is having people, people call into her stream. So she's talking about this with all these different people. I mean, because we're not going to listen to the whole thing. I'm going to get to the end of it, which is the controversial part where it's happening. Because I don't know if he got arrested either. Because I'm not seeing anything that says he got arrested. I'm only thing seeing she got arrested. And honestly, they should have both been arrested. 
Um, but you'll see. It's uh, so yeah. I'm definitely not sticking up for him, Teddy. If you think I am, I'm definitely not. But what she did was dangerous as well. And she, I've seen the way she behaves with other people and stuff. She's not. There's a hawk out there. Oh, it's okay. So no, but no, it's like it doesn't feel okay. It feels. Like no, it doesn't because at least you're telling the truth. Yeah. You know, at least you're finding out all all that you've been feeling. So now it's coming out. So that's so she's she's doing all this, but all online. I I, I spent so much time with this idiot. So I it's spent so much like time it. with this. Now she's in a mall or a strip mall. And see, that's how they do. They they give them money that way. I don't know whatever that link is. Um, donated three. So here we are here. Now watch. It all happens when she leaves the bomb. Here we go. This is where it all takes place. So uh, so she's been, at, just for the people that don't know, she's been online this whole time. She got a hold of her boyfriend's phone. She's seeing all these text messages that he's making to this girl, Sarah, and whatnot. She talks to Sarah, and Sarah tells her all sorts of stuff. So she's upset. She's pissed. I mean, every woman would be upset when they find out. I don't even know why she cares because this guy is completely, in my opinion, looks wise for sure beneath her. And, and I, the way he reacts completely beneath her. Anyway, uh, let's go. Here we go. That's me trying to get a second opinion. And all. Can we do a FaceTime? Yeah. You want to do it right now? Texting. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, you want to do FaceTime? Oh, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yes. Hello. Is this Crystal? Yes. Are you here? I'm here outside. Okay, okay come to the food court. Side. Come to the food court. I'm sitting at a table um, right in front of Sparrow. Right in front of what? Sparrow, you know the pizza place? I'm not sure. It's CJ, it's CJ, it's CJ. So wait a minute. Wait, did she eat with that person first? So what I had to do... So I have all these like Airbnbs that are like empty right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so okay. what I have to do is I have to reset. Hey, Addy. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yes. Now, guys, I do want to give a major trigger warning because the it is it's a lot. What happens is a lot, and I know she gets arrested, but I don't know if he does. And I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. Everything I'm seeing is about her, not so much about him. So hopefully you'll be one person. Okay. And then like some other people. Uh, wait, where's the food court? I just came from it. I don't know. Uh, I don't come here. Oh, you don't come here? But you live locally. I know. Huh. Yeah, I look for bargains in cheaper places. Oh, yeah? Like the... where? Like McCarty. Oh, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I thought this was after. So, okay. She meets with somebody. Okay. I was wrong. Oops, 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 oops. Here we go. So there we go. That's <laughs> a good song. No, I don't even know your name. It doesn't matter. You're my experimental game. Just human nature. She used to hang out with Andy Dick sometimes when he was with those streamers sure or whatever. All right, keep in touch, okay? Let's meet up soon. Bye. Yeah. I don't know where I parked. I have no idea where I parked. Ooh, I didn't even see that. My Mexican girl makes... So wait a minute, is that really him? I didn't even notice that before. Is that really him? My Mexican girl makes Fubo's con hot dog for breakfast. I'm afraid if I accidentally see him, I might do something I regret. So I'm going to not see him. And so there's that. There's that. And we, it definitely gets that way. I damn sure wouldn't be filming this. She looks well. I don't. Well, More. I'm really I afraid of myself to be right fake. now because I don't trust myself. Okay, oh, there he is. Oh, my God. He's near the police. Here we go. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we yes, hello? Yeah, I turned it off. What's up? Look at, yeah, I turned it off. So you have his phone and his keys. 
Yeah, I have his phone. Okay, he wants it. All right, fine, I'll get it to him. Look at Tim. Okay, I wanted to make sure it's in her background and not mine. You guys are adults. Your phone and keys are what's, what's going to happen. Where did these niggas be at when they I'm just going to go to my car. So are you guys going to be together? What's the plan? I, I see him over there. I know. Just wait. Don't even open the crib. I don't need anything from you. What do you need? No, no. This, this is uh, my stupid boyfriend. He's retarded. Sorry about that, that he bothered you. I have his phone and his, because we were in couples therapy. I'm oh, sorry. Let me turn it down. I'm sorry. So we were in couples therapy. Couples therapy, isn't it funny? She's got quite a few streams that are a little, I skimmed around. She is something. Therapy, and I found out he's been cheating on me for two years. So that's what this is about. There's nothing okay. violent happening. I'm no, getting, wait, he just wants his phone. So he's getting his phone. phone. All right, he's getting his phone. Okay, okay, thanks. All right, thank you. Now watch this. This is where it starts. I, I, what? Here it is. Take it. What? You said you were going to come, but you didn't. Come where? Come on. The Frank said you were going to come back to the... For I what? To give me my stuff. Oh, there it is. There's your stuff. Thank you. A nice one. What do you do? I don't care what you do. I do not care what you do. FYI, February... I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm going to fucking kill you. No, no, no. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Sorry. 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 That's the only reason she didn't hit him right there. She stopped herself because she knew the police were right there. So anyway, I mean, like I said, this is not justifying anything that he does because you guys, he, it's a lot. And that's why I haven't seen that he's arrested. Hey, Pipsqueak, I need to see that he's arrested. Sparta. No, you, 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 you were, you were, I, I got, I'm going to text her my Discord. Okay. I'm going to text to her. All the same shit you say to me, you say to her. You both are going to try to something. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just talking to him. Do you want to go to jail? Not really, no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should see what you're lucky that your hand didn't hit him because regardless of what he said, okay, all right, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you're not on it. You're not on it. Okay, she's the police. Listen. I'm regardless of what had just happened here, if you had hit him right in my presence, you're getting the fuck out of here. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Be quiet and listen to me. No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? You must not talk That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I was asking, can I go grab no, my stuff? You can grab his stuff here. Exactly. I mean, he can I, grab I, I, his I, stuff I, and he can go home. That's what he can do. Okay. Yeah, I have his stuff. I can take him to his stuff. And he can okay, take his stuff and take your anger down or not because you you had hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, think I should now, talk about it. No, I, I said I, I'm going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing is this woman is not the least bit innocent. They're both They're both very guilty there she she can what you oh you right the car fight well You're this is what led up that, to it that bad okay. perception of you that's not very nice okay no it's not okay. are you, you ever been cheated on for two years with you know a 20 year old i'm not, I'm I not doubt getting it. into yeah. my business okay all right well i'm just telling you that's my business i really don't want to talk one. to you anymore you understand? nice talking to you have a nice day she's very pleasant i called but, her i spoke to her she was very boring of course no, I saw all your texts. I saw all your texts. What a retard. Yeah, they didn't even know I was, I told John about this yesterday because I saw this. I'm like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I love the color of her car. I do. It's chartreuse. Look at it. Isn't it fun? Because it's, it's more than just yellow. It's yellow, it's lime. Which one is it? At least it looks lime. Well, maybe it is just yellow, but it looks no, it looks limeish. Oh, she is all over the place. She is definitely not a. Uh, she, she has got quite the mouth on her. The first time I ever remember seeing her is when the Andy D, Andy Dick stuff. I don't remember what other streamer they were with. Andy Dick was involved. It was right around the time when he was arrested or whatever. So that's when I that's when I knew about her. And I don't know. She's just not. That's not even a real Jeep. It's not. Jules, guess who has the golden nugget? Who? Who? I don't know what kind of golden nugget you're talking about. He gets in. Are you talking about the McDonald's golden nugget? Are you talking about the real one from like a Happy Meal? Wait, 
Where's my... Wait. Oh, there it is. No fair. How did you get one of those? I didn't think they made them anymore. Okay, so she's getting all of her camera and stuff all hooked up. Look at all of this shit she has on her dash. What it takes to be a streamer. There we go. You guys, and I'm going to tell you, it is hard to see. It is very hard to see, but like, no Stephen the McDonald golden nugget. Yeah, but then what do you get with it? What did you win? I forget. So there's a little bit of silence. With your no chin having ass, dude. <laughs> Fucking shit. Where's your chin, dude? Where did it go? So oh. she's, there's people calling in, talking shit about him. Oh my whatnot. God, you look like a. You think you should walk? Why are you like this little punk bitch in your car? Yeah, and it's going to be DV on both of them. They're both going to go at each other. And it, although, I mean. That's why I think that he should be arrested too, and I haven't seen that. You gonna let everybody just run all over you, Lisa? You gonna let this fucking bitch take advantage of you, Lisa? Because the cop was watching me, and I couldn't kill him there. So. We well, let this bitch in your fucking car. I fucking slap the shit out of him and kick him out the fucking door. Don't worry, he's gonna get what he deserves. I, I, don't worry. Do not worry. What's this, Neil? Neil Plastic Surgeon? Hello? <gasps> it's a birthday gift. Someone sent me all. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. How cool is that? Wait, when is Maria acting like 1096? Lisa, how are you? Good. Dr. H. What's up? I was calling this shit out the story for a second. Sure, you great here. I possibly could. It's okay. Talking, whatever. This is today. This yeah. Say your goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait. I'm going to be asking if I've ever had sex with you. I'm going to. Is it nice to be in Chile? Uh, fucking took it, man. There's nothing. 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 No, he's not going back. He's not going to survive. This is today. Is yeah. Say your goodbye. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did she say she's going to kill him? Damn it. I can't get him. a really good segment is actually if you read all your texts that I read to the to the to the chat that'd be so great can you do that why'd you do that Harry where's your phone let's, let's read them out loud I thought you wanted to make the show better well, they were together for a couple of years she says I don't know if they really were for two years but and then he was cheating on her
and all the stuff that he does, uh, you know, because she thinks that I'm just a streamer. That's what he told her, that I'm just only a streamer, that he's investing. I read the whole paragraph. I, I don't even know why he got in the car with her, though. You're confused on what he was telling her. Why does he keep pausing? Girl, this is just a streamer that I invested in when she found out about me. So make sure you, you uh, contact Sarah Rodriguez. I think it's like, we actually, I'll tell you her exact name on there. Just so you can, oh, there she is. Sarah Rodriguez, uh, 715. Yeah, we're not going to let her be a dog. You can't keep him on cam. What? Can you just, can you just like, think it's dropping home to kill him? Don't do it in the car. Don't do it now? Don't kill him right now. Why not? Wait till you go like, you drive him. Because I'm driving? Yeah, just wait till you just drop him off and kill him. All right, thank you. Do I have to drop him off first? And then do I have to end the stream before, or can I do it during? You can do it during. Okay. Then I never have to stream again. I can end on a high note. Okay. This will be my last stream. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, why is it? But is it just from Sun? Because she had big glasses. What an uncomfortable car ride. If I go too fast, I'm going to go right past it. And I want to make sure I have the whole thing for context. It's coming any minute. I think that Sarah person called in. She looks mad. Yeah, that's like her call in number. She has like this call in number that um, you can call in and talk. Are you kidding? I thought that it got shut off right away. Wow. Because this one is only, I got it from her site. But yeah, that's the, that's the call in number. If you want to call her and tell her some more stuff about Squirrel, I'm going to give okay, her number. It uh, starts with, let's see, Sarah. Uh, let's see. If she doxes it, I'm going to bleep it out. Although I'm sure that the girl probably okay, changed so it. Okay, so 909. From that number. Oh, she Close just gave it to the number to all the people in her Discord. Go. Just because uh, guys like this should be killed. So here they are. There you go. Oh, wait. Why did that not play? Five dollars. Thank you. Hell, Bastardo Zero. You're a pike rip shit to cheat on Elisa with a beautiful Mexican girl in her early 20s with everything on her body completely tight in all the right places. Yeah, yeah well, he's gonna have to be with that. So. Excuse me? Yeah, I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, listen. <laughs> listen to this song. She's gonna, she's gonna kill him. She's out. How many of us don't love this song? Yeah, see, definitely, I don't know if he physically cheated, but he definitely was texting somebody else and talking about buying her stuff and whatnot. Right now, she's 
she's probably up the same from a white trash version of Shania Karaoke. Right now, she's probably saying, I'm ready for that girl to call. Right now, she's probably giving all three dollars worth of that bathroom photo. Hey, Adrian. Pilot donated $3. There are plenty of flights today. Why not just take him directly to the airport? Remix. What a pussy donated three dollars. Look at this loud mouth baboon. Your daddy would be proud. Hold on. What this happened just... to that mouthpiece now? I hate their shit. I don't give a fuck if I have a Discord. You know, I'd make more money if I didn't have a Discord. Because people would be more interested in the streams instead of hanging out there all day. I, I, I want to get kicked off Discord today. Actually, I'm, I'm going to post news on purpose and, and set, put the person's phone number purposely so I'm kicked off Discord so I can have more viewers. Thank you. Yes, she is an IRL Thank streamer. You. Oh my gosh. I thought it, I didn't know it was this close to the end. He should have never gotten in the car with her, though, to begin with. I don't understand. He was right there with the police to get his stuff. He already saw that she was, yeah, she is annoying. This card link's in the description of the video. Yeah. Right? Hey, know, Addie's mom. Like buying burkas for people and saying, oh, like, same shit, same sentences, exact sentences. Like, I think he copies and pastes them to different people, and I knew he was doing that. He's so unoriginal. Oh, okay, Sarah. Oh my God, yay. Here we go. This Hello? is where it starts. Hello. Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you? So the actual girl, Sarah, is now calling in. So this is where it starts. He's going to start. She's going to start hitting him because of this. So hold up, guys. Hold your ears. Hold your ears. But I haven't done this in a minute. Oops. Yes, I can hear you great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Face with tears of joy donated $5. You're no Angel Elisa. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, I love to hear from you. Just... <laughs> well, I just subbed to another train wreck. You mean her? Yeah, she she puts everything out there. She's not, She's a pretty girl, and she's, I mean, she was in a band. Going on. Group, whatever. Well, what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your nudes. So I'm gonna send. I'm gonna text them to you so you can see what um ba ba Ram Alipur is sending of women. You play with them pictures, like and the I'm gonna text you what he's texting as well. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send to you like. Wait, people can see this or just hear? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean the people watching her? They can see it. She's streaming it. Texts of uh, your nudes and you know different sentences that he. Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh, yes, sir. We're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Uh, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. Uh, she's just like all those broke my nose. She's gonna get her. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um, Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fuck you. So this is, and this is where it goes bad. This is where it gets really bad. This is, and this is what I don't. Jules, get the slap again. Uh, oh, okay. I'll rewind it. But um, this is why I'm playing this. The reason I'm playing this is because it appears that she is the only one that's getting blamed for this. That's my thing. Is her behavior warranted? Should she be putting her hands on him like this? No, she should not. She should absolutely not be putting her hands on him. But the way that he responds, dude should have never gotten in the car. Okay, I think it's right here. You can see what um, Baram ba Alipur is sending of women. You play with them pictures. Like and I'm going to text you what he's texting me as well. Oh my goodness. No, Addie's mom. This is her boyfriend. That's not her kid. <laughs> Look at, is that her kid? No, that's her boyfriend. 
and she just found out he cheated on her. And the girl that he supposedly cheated with, whatever, is now called into the show. So she's mad, but he should have never gotten in the car with her. But like the way, just wait till you see how he responds. Cause I have not seen anywhere where it says that he got arrested too. And he should be. So I'm just, I'm just going to send you like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and, you know, different sentences that he. Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh, yes, sir. We're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Fucking uh, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's coming. Don't worry. He's coming home. Uh, She's just like, oh, what's broke my nose? She's going to get her No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um, Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fucking dick. This is bad. Um, you understand, cunt? Hey, no, um, Sarah, hang up. These idiots. Yeah, this is bad. Trigger warning. And so, yeah, dang, it hit. Get hit with the glasses. Well, no, wait. Just wait. Just, you guys. What she did to him was horrible. But, man, oh, man. A real, I don't know. I don't think a man should have done what he did. I don't need, well, we'll see. She posted your fucking number in her cancer discord. And I would just be polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, so, so Bar Baram, Baram, how do you pronounce it? Do you know? I don't know. Shut the fuck up, cunt. Um, so, so I'm going to text you your nudes that he sent me. And right. what he wrote about you. He said you're a dumb Mexican that uh, he doesn't yeah, even yeah. like. Oh, just sure, just sure. how he said. Well, Addie's, mo <laughs> Addie's mom, just wait. But... It was bad. It was bad. Yeah. Alisa Jordana. Um, but uh, it, it, it's, it's, wait till you see it. That I'm a streamer that he doesn't like. So you guys are like, wow. Right. Interesting. Okay. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Touch me and I'll fucking deck your dumb ass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. Alisa. Yes. Um, I was a woman. The dumb cunt. No, she's a she's a fucking insane person. She's a she's a fucking I was not talking about okay. Dumb cunt. Oh, yeah. okay guys. Okay, this is where she's Ooh. It was just the movie of the birds passed my window for a second there. They all went whoosh up. Um anyway, too many women out there like this. Yeah, but but here's the deal. Her name is Elisa. E L I S A Jordana. Yeah. So um I we're about to watch now. Here's the thing is now Martin's mommy's coming in and she's not seeing hit her hit him. Neither one of these people should be putting their hands on each other. It, but here's my thing about him. He's putting his hands on her while she's driving the car. Exactly, Linda. Look at we're on the same same brainwave there. He's doing this while she's driving the car. Well, just wait. You're going to see. It's 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 pretty hard to see. So once again, guys, trigger warning, because I don't think there's any blood or anything, but still, it's bad. It is very bad, and it, it can be very triggering. Uh, okay, in the I'm middle 15. of the street okay, dancing. Yes, yeah. yeah, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, and he said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing up, and he says you won't stop texting him, but I saw the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's up? She's half your age. Delete the number, please. Pull over, dumb cunt. Pull over, dumb cunt. Oh, ow, ow. No, no, please. I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I will. Pull over, dumb cunt. Please, please, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. See? What do you guys. Yes, that's the one. That's the one we're watching, not doing good. Um, but can you believe, like, she's driving the car. This is, I just don't, I don't think any of this is okay like this. This is dangerous in my opinion. And like I said, why am I not seeing where he should, because you guys, he, I don't know. Let's finish it. Oh, no, no. No, please, please. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, and he's not just trying to detain her. You know what I'm saying? It would be different if he was, but, but, but he's whole, ripping her by the hair and he's holding it even tighter and tighter.
But yeah, is it, so if anybody thought that I was going to be sticking up for the guy in here, I'm not. Neither one of these people should be putting their hands on each other. But the, exactly, they both should have charges on this. And I don't know, maybe I just didn't investigate enough, but I didn't see anything. This all happened live, I believe. So, yeah, look at how dangerous this is. Where was this being? This is in California somewhere, I think. Oh, I'm so sorry. So look at. Go. Man, please let me go. Look at. No, please, I'm so sorry. Please let oh, me go. Oh, you're sorry. Look at. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Do you see this? This is a trigger. I know. I know, Adri. I know. Now she was, she, I am sure that she was harmed in this. I mean, obviously there's no way that that could not hurt, but no, they shouldn't be hitting each other. No, this is not the way to act. Yes, he is. Killing me. <laughs> Look at him. Look at now he's running after her. Cause that's where, oops. So that's where it ended for me. But anyway, so like I said, I ran across that on, um, on this one Reddit page. And people were talking, people were saying that he's a pay pig. Like he pays her to be mean. I don't know. It's all very weird. But because what they said is they said that he's a pay pig and that she always degrades him like that. But she went too far by hitting him in the face. That's not what I saw. But she thought the phone protected her. All I know is both of them should have been. I think she still is. I do think that she still is. And why is he not in jail? So, yeah, I don't want anybody to turn around and twist this, that I'm I'm supporting any type of DV whatsoever because I'm not, not even close. I believe they all should be in jail, both of them. Um, let me see. Three hours ago on AOL.com, I'm just looking. Internet personality and former writer for the Sirius Radio. Okay, she absolutely was a writer, is facing a misdemeanor battery charge following an incident this week in which authorities allege she struck a man while driving and live streaming a video in suburban. That was in West Palm beach. No, I don't believe there's any, well, unless somebody gets body cam of it at some point in time, like in the whatever. Um, her name is Elisa Ann. whatever. I'm not going to say her last name. That's her legal name. Investigators say the YouTube's personality and man were the YouTube personality and a man were traveling Blah, 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 blah. Jordana, who jail records indicate lives in West Palm Beach, is accused of striking the man three times with the act being captured on live stream video and then shared on her YouTube channel. The video features hair pulling and profanity. Deputies responded after the incident noted. After the incident noted that the man had a small scratch on the right side of his face. The man did not seek medical treatment. Um, the report indicates that. <clears throat> Alisa is an internet personality who makes videos for YouTube. She entered a not guilty plea at a hearing on Tuesday the 9th. Um, let's see. Assigned a public defender in order she have no contact with her accuser. She was released later the day on her own. So she's not in jail. The next court date is on the 19th. But see, there's nothing here saying if he was arrested. Because if he walks away with nothing, I mean, she did provoke it. But he also provoked it because he knew where this was going. He saw that she just found out that he cheated on her. And he was poking at her. You are just reporting an incident to us. It's a real incident. And you're showing it like body cam. Exactly. Exactly. And I am not condoning it because you know how people will spin this that I am condoning whatever, and I'm not. I just, I mean, that was even on page six, you know? So it was kind of like a thing. And when I saw it, I was appalled and I'm not seeing anything about him being arrested. Hold on. Maybe because I'm not putting his name in right. 
Uh, let's look at the TM. It was on TMZ too. X Howard Stern. Oh, they. I swear to you, I watched or listened to something where they said, oh, no, she was just uh, she dated somebody who was a writer. Hold on a minute. Uh oh. Uh oh, hold on a minute. Okay, I guess this is a blast from the past. This is a blast from the past. Kind of goes along with the other stream we had. Uh, anyway, hold on. Wait, what? Where is it? Didn't you? Why is it going away? Didn't you steal? You, Car off. you and Carlos stole money from your fucking whole family's estate. You had a whole ass wedding. And you stole their money, and you went like Bonnie and fucking Clyde, and you left. And then that was when you were teenagers, okay? And then you left, and you went to Turkey, and you went and left with a man, and you always with your daughter's fucking wedding shower. What was it, Amanda? Wedding okay. shower? Wedding? Wait, wait. wait. Look, Marina said I'm the embarrassing my family, and that's why they're. Oh, wow. I never said that. I'm just saying it was never me. Oh, the people from StreamYard said that they re re resolved the issue. Well, yep, you surely did. Hey, not to change the subject for a second here. Sophie, did you notice that when you go live, not on StreamYard, like going straight from YouTube in your car, do you notice that you're getting more views? I'm noticing, I think, I think it shows up in more people's algorithm when you do that. Cause I looked at it. I'm like, wow. I'm like, you got a lot of views on that. And then I'm looking at your other videos. I'm like, well, why doesn't she have as many on those? I mean, not like you have barely any views you do, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys, I think that that's, I think you get in more of an algorithm if you just do the regular YouTube. I don't know. Anyway. Um, she showed blah, 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 blah. You can constantly striking. She struck him three times. Somebody called the cops. Uh, this is her mug shot. I'll show you the mug, mug shot. There's her mug shot. So, I mean, it's, I'm glad to see that there's no, nothing on her face visible right now. Not to say that something might not show up. But still, that does not, he should never have put his hands on her like that. She shouldn't have done that to him, but he shouldn't have done that to her. Not only did she appear on Stern, but she has credits on Kimmel. Oh, all right. Now she's in Florida facing criminal charges. Oh, wait, so she's not in California. So wait. Nothing about him. Um, how do you spell that guy's name? What is it? Z. Um, oh no, it has. She gives a statement after arrest for brawl. Um, a woman was arrested for assaulting her boyfriend. Who used to work as a writer? I'm trying to get through all that stuff. It's got it's got 169,000 views since being published. Her mugshot is really not bad. You guys, here's a close up of it on here. Although maybe somebody touched it up. It's really not bad for a mugshot at all.
Why was I always thinking she was California? He cheated on me. It says he appeared shortly after on the camera, taking his belongings back. Five minutes later, she filmed herself driving her car with the wealthy man sitting next to her in the passenger seat. Oh, okay. I already did that. Never mind. Um, let's see. According to TMC, officers heard both sides of the fight and looked at the video of the live stream. Ultimately, they deemed her the aggressor. Wait a minute. It says that uh, officers heard both sides of the fight and looked at the video of the live stream, ultimately determining Elisa was the aggressor. It is currently unknown whether whatever is facing any legal consequences for his own role. Wow. She said, I don't think the police saw the whole video. There's no way. It was all together. Wow. Okay. It says, I don't know. I have mixed emotions about this. I watched the entire thing because I just wanted the full context, the situation that was a roller coaster. I mean, clearly she was hurt. He's an asshole for cheating, but she shouldn't have let him in the car. Agreed. She kept over and over. She kept over and over talking about how she's going to hurt him. So she should have taken the high road. Yeah. So I'm just reading. I don't know who's making these comments. I don't know if it's on her page. But wow. So his case, so it's, they, they deemed her the aggressor. He was detaining her. I knew it. So that's what they're going to call it. They're going to call that detaining. See, that's you guys, what do you think about that? If that's the case, I, Sophie killed it with views going straight from YouTube. Yeah. Right. Johnny Mac. You noticed she's getting mad views. I wonder why. I think it puts you in the algorithm different or something. I don't know. Um, Because, yeah, you guys, she got over 2,000 views on um, one of her drives. That's, that's really good for a drive. I would have jumped out the second she said she's going to kill me. Well, that's the thing. Well, here's the thing. Why did you get in the car with her? She tried to hit you in front of the police officer. The only reason she didn't is because the police officer was right there. She wasn't going to be that stupid. Um, you guys, I have that stupid citizens app or whatever now, and I get notifications of everything going bad everywhere in the world. No, everywhere from here to Chicago. But I don't know. He should be. I really hope that he ends up getting something out of that because you guys that that was that was excessive. That was more than just detaining. You know what I mean? I don't know. That was uncomfortable. It was extremely uncomfortable. I when I saw that, I was like, holy shit. And then people were trying to make it seem like it was um it was him, like he wants her to treat him like that. And it's just like, no, that's not. It. Hey there. There is uh there is that. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. I meant to do that the other day. Uh, anyway, hold on a minute. So also, guys, so since we're still here, we are still here. Let's do this. Let's start into part two. There is a part two to that. I think she antagonized him enough for him to respond, but then he took it too far. I agree. I agree. But if he if he does not get charged and that was simply just detaining her, that you guys, that was dangerous. He didn't tell her, pull over the car, pull the car over. Did he do that? He didn't do that. He told her, stop hitting me, of course. And that was wrong. But I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what Siwa, I wonder how Siwa feels about all that. Siwa, did you watch it? What, how, what do you uh, weigh in on it? But I believe that both of them should have been in trouble. So anyway, let's see what this one is like. We'll start part two. He's waiting for the star to get on. Hold on, it takes a minute. So let's fast forward. Let's go back to 2016 and show me some 
DMs around August Rapper, of 2016. go away with your hate. Shoo, shoo. I don't even know if it goes back that far. Let me see. It's going to be a while, though. It's, gl it's growing. Oh, wait a minute. Is this is this where she's trying to... Uh, it, this is all where the receipts are supposed to be? She doesn't show anything. Because her thing is completely black. Look, it was all talk about no one screwed me over. You screwed Danielle over. It was all talk about the leading posts on his group. That was it. That was our big conversation. Every time he wanted to know what post was going to be deleted, what what the people comment, it was nothing, nothing big. He's not okay, like so that. He doesn't care about that. Okay, let's let's go back to August time frame. I don't know this account. He closed his account and opened a new one. I don't think this goes all the way down that far. All right, well, go to the very top. Huh? <laughs> I don't even understand why he has to coach her through this. Like, Jules, tell me your email. Wait, what do you mean? Why? My email is, hold on, why? Huh? Go to go to the very top and show us the, mm -hmm. the first time he, he started conver you know conversing with you. Okay. Go live with Amanda. Let her. Oh, please. I wouldn't give Amanda the time of day. I am moving on as soon as she stops leaving me alone. I'm not harassing people. She's the one who's lying about me. So now she's talking about, and that's the problem. She could never just move along. You know how she's always like, oh, if you don't like it, just block and move along. No, block and move along. But if you talk about me on another channel and I hear about it, I'm going to come for you and your unborn children and all of your dead relatives and whatnot. And your animals and your squirrels and your birds. No one's safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not deleting all that. She wants to continue. She's going to get it all out there. Next time she'll think twice about lying about other people. I don't talk about Amanda. Oh, we're talking about Amanda. I don't care about Amanda. She means nothing. I blocked every single account she has. Why would you? Why would I care about her? Why would I block her if I cared about her? I don't talk about her nonstop. No, no. Um, Maria, you you're gonna have to show us the, you know, the messages between you and and Muhammad around that time because if. You, if you want to um exonerate it doesn't yourself. go i'm exonerated i have i have a clear conscience i'm not i'm not, i've been married for 36 years almost yeah, i have that, nothing to hide muhammad is my son's age i'm not going to screw him over because you want you want people to see messages there okay no no, no i'm no. just showing you that that this was nothing it was all it was was about a facebook group and nothing else and we talked about his life and tlc like, I'm sure he talked to many other people. I'm not believing that. But how did you end up in the show? How come other people, what was, how did she end up on the show? Look, I'm going like this, scrolling up. That's how long it takes. <laughs> you can't even see what she's doing. Allison, get off of there. People are speaking annoying. Yeah. You go rub up on that. She's rubbing my loyalty my is my husband. And my loyalty is clearing my name because I don't use drugs and I don't drink. And she's a. But according to Lacey, uh, you pay for sex. <laughs> liar. Right of reply was what? We heard it from Lacey. Same people. Anyways, I'm done. Is it a female family? You just have a person. Danielle does not mention you. Listen. No, my. <laughs> look at the date on my post, Danielle. Mommy's 42,000 is Danielle. Remember that was your email? <laughs> of course I know it's you. Danielle, you mention me every single time. No, Every it's single time, real. Danielle. And you know, we, you know, I was the only one that put up with you. And you know how many times you used to call me every single day. But you listened to Beth and you let her drag me through the mud. 
because you're a weak woman and you don't defend yourself. Well, I'm defending myself against you guys. So always defending yourself. The okay. one time I messaged, I even tried to fix it. I messaged Danielle once and I said, drop all this, just move on. Where, where does Danielle is mommy 42,000. Um, um, she, I messaged her and I said, just drop all this. Like, why this hate? Like, we were friends. Why can't you just move on? She took that screenshot and she posted it in her Instagram and said, guess who's back? My stalker. <laughs> like, where on that message did it say, I'm going to stalk you. I'm following you. I said, let's move on. Well, and let me she ask said, you this, Maria. Let me ask you this. Is there, is there any way that we could reconcile and just make make a truce between you and Danielle tonight. If she would stop, if her and Beth would stop t posting about me or commenting that well, I'm you a drug user, you, you have you have 15 posts on your Instagram <laughs> all about her. You know, I'm not going to lie. That is one of the things I like about when Yahoo does interview people. He's got that very steady, like monotone. Because she's just like, I'm just going to forget about her. It's just like, oh, Maria, you have how many posts about her? <laughs> I have 15 posts on my Instagram that are old. Every single time that she, look at the dates on that. Every single time that she would, that she would do something that I would, as she would in recent, up to recently with my phone book. Um, Beth was posting, was commenting, saying that I'm a drug addict and that um, I have um, an alcohol problem. I've never drink. I don't take any. So they used to say that Maria paid for sex and she drank and she drank and she took pills. Well, no, I can only imagine. Maria, you didn't even come at them half as hard as you come at other people. And look at what they, I never said that shit. I'm not, by the way, guys, I'm not making those accusations. Lacey's the one that says she pays for sex. Medication. And for somebody, when, if it's done to you, you would be pissed. Especially coming from. Well, welcome to the Vortex. <laughs> I don't think she will ever stop. I haven't watched the video yet. Um, Damn, Maria must have been really wilding out. I just got a notification that Cody and Robin are suing. Wait, what? For what? It's okay, Maria. You simply can't help yourself. It's never Maria's fault. Okay, I'm catching up now. Yep, Carol Ann's got me. Well, KJ did put the false neighbor call out there wait what false neighbor call i wonder if that's it she did correct it but i guess it's too late wait what what did she say about the neighbors i hate this shit man you guys ugh. i hate not having a clear head i really and truly do this stinks We've been here three and a half hours. KJ said that the response team was sent to Cody's house the night after Garrison passed. What does that mean? But what's the false neighbor call? But no response team was ever there. Oh, I don't even get it. That whole thing was a horrible tragedy, but 
I don't know how long it's going to take for this to happen. If it doesn't start kicking in in a minute, we might just have to call it whatever. And you know what's funny is because I was like, ah, let's get into a little bit of this. And that's about all we're probably going to get in the middle of. Because if this little line doesn't move, this little line of mine on my Mac, it needs to move. Not let it shine, whatever. I don't know, guys. Maybe I should call it quits. I think I should call it a day on this one, and we'll just have to pick up on it later. So anyway, guys, because, yeah, it seems to be an issue, and I, don't, I hate to sit here and make you guys just watch listening to me. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. I guess it heard me, and all of a sudden it started moving. Sorry for typing. I'm still getting used to the keyboard. Hold on. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take, though, because it might still take a long time. It's so funny. It's like as soon as I said that, all of a sudden it started moving. Huh. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, yeah. No, never mind. We're not going to do it because it's going to it's going to take forever because it's doing this right now. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for all of the super chats and the gifted memberships and all the fun stuff. Um, sorry to end it abruptly like this, but I am. And I'm sure somebody else is going to go live at some point in time. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that's it. And I guess, um, I will see you in the streets somewhere. And your salvation, I'm your revival, but not survival. Cause I laugh as you burn in hell